That is not blue. It's periwinkle. Mm. And then you punched him, which is how you hurt your hand, right? Hey, right. where so did you true. get off? 100%. Look, you gotta it's very keep those... important to me that people understand the difference between the dogs on Blue's Clues, okay? Okay, I'm I'm actually, like, I agree with that. <laughs> like, unironically, I'm like... I have far too many questions revolving uh, Mr. Salt and Mrs. Pepper. Oh, God. And, yeah. yeah. And why their kid is Paprika? How that yeah, that's uh, why they're You want to know why their kid's Paprika? Mm, they adopted you want to you want to know really why <laughs> yeah oh. jeep inhale <laughs> pepper had an affair right got it well maybe maybe paprika the maybe there's spices down whoa 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 mark marks marks man we're guys i gotta really go spicy I, I have a, today i have an au i need to write <laughs> You have an AU you need to write? <laughs> Listen, I'm just Oh my god, the... I forget forget the episode today. We are gonna live stream the secret right life of Mrs. Pepper. Mark's Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Pepper fan fiction theory right Mark now. Needs to sit down in his thinking oh. chair and think, think. Yes, think. exactly. <laughs> exactly. Welcome back to the Unexpectables where we talk about condiment relationships. <laughs> is that a is that a condiment? That's a spice, right? Whatever. It's, it's okay. Salt. They both, no, it both works if it goes Semantics, on top of the food yeah. accounts. I guess yeah. that's true. Yeah, I guess I guess that's true. Uh, Welcome to the uh, uh, official Bluey fan podcast. Yeah. Bluey, come on. Bluey is a completely <laughs> different show, man. Come on. Yeah, come on, dude. I don't know. I, all I heard was blue. And we, Baba blues. Okay. Yeah, blues we clues. Blues. I live for There's no any other children's show with a blue dog in it. It's called Blue's Clues. I don't know where Bluey gets off. I know. Yeah, right. It's such a, it's just a clone show, really. I think you're special because you're Australian. <laughs> All you got is large spiders and angry birds. It like was fucking... legitimately like a long scale argument about what kind of dog Blue was. Like I remember it being like a whole thing. Back She's in the a blue dog. Days. Right, yes, of course. The breed that everyone knows about. Blue. Yeah, blue dog. Well, my my favorite my favorite misconception was the one where someone put up an argument that uh the magic school bus runs on uh not science but magic. That, it's th the like, magic we, school bus. But 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 it had all the science attached to it. Mm -hmm. So therefore there was a constant argument over which it was or if there was something else involved. I think that was actually intentional because magic is in in the scientific world. Magic is simply a word for science that we don't understand yet. That's I true. remember when I was a kid, uh, someone told me that blue was a girl and magenta was a boy, uh, but the, but magenta is, is pink and blue is blue. And I had to go to the hospital because my brain nearly boiled out of my skull. <laughs> oh my God, it's impossible. Actually, they are. By the both way, I have to say, Periwinkle I... is the only boy. <laughs> yep, Periwinkle is the only boy. You know, I met a lot of new people recently in my life, and they're like, "Hey, I'm gonna check out the Unexpectables. It sounds like a great time." And they they might be sitting in this chat going, "What the fuck is this show?" <laughs> this is why I'm staying quiet. The, these are the important discussions we need to have can right we, now. Can we, just, can, we, can we just all agree though that Teletubbies was a like, was nightmare, like which oh, is a whole nightmare? Yeah, oh yeah. Okay, yeah, thank yeah, God. Yeah. All right, cool. When your thanks. Son is an, when your son, the literal fucking celestial ball of gas in the air in the sky that gives you sunlight, when that has a baby's face on it, that has so many fucking weird implications that I fucking can't stand <laughs> and it. And it giggles. The sun. I Giggles. I do, I do see your next D and D game. Everyone's panicking because there's now a face in the sun and it's a child. A wild. Listen it on that fucking up. dude. That's a, that one D one one thousand or that one D ten thousand fucking wild magic thing. That's oh one God. of the fucking things. That's one of them. The oh my sun God. becomes he a telescope over the horizon and says, "Oh baby, what you, what you got?" got. <laughs> then they would just replay but, it the entire thing for a second time, for no reason. They actually did that because apparently it helped with retention in oh. children. Yeah, well, that's actually why they did that. Now my criticism is wrong. Damn it! I, I would like to know the study, everybody. <laughs> yeah, welcome everyone. Uh, let's go through introductions now that we're done with our podcast part of the show. Uh, uh, Gaijin Goomba, where can I find you? Uh, freaking out because I didn't watch Blues Clues growing up. Um, what? You find me at Twitch.tv/slash Gaijin Goomba, no H. 
Uh, we've plowed through Resident Evil 8. We have plowed through... Dude, there there is a freaking Castlevania roguelite set in Buddhist Japanese hell. It's great. It's called oh my Getsu God. Getsufuma. Yeah, Getsufuma Den. It's really, really freaking good. Uh, I thought I beat it. And then there was more came. And then I got my oh. ass laid out. Um... But it's been really fun. We've been we've been talking about uh, all the different hells because they're in 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 Buddhism. There's like over sixteen different hells, and there's way oh more than levels. Yeah, there's so a lot. <laughs> we've been breaking that down. All the yokai we've been coming across. That's been a ton of fun. My frustrations have been wonderful to listen to. Um, <laughs> but we're probably going to be kicking it back into Monster Hunter Rise this weekend, just because it's been a while and then it's fun. And uh, let's see, as far as new videos go, main channel, Gaijigupa Media, I am breaking down the yokai cultural origins of Lady Dimitrescu, and I know that a good chunk of you already know what she is based off of, but I bet you don't know why and just how deep that damn rabbit hole went. You'll find out this weekend in a 13-minute special. Nice. Uh, ooh. Uh, I think that's all I have, aside from making new OCs and other dumb nerd crap like that. So enjoy. Excellent. Mark Allen Jr., we're going to find you. You can find me on Twitter at Mark Allen Jr., here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming, and you can follow the adventures of my fat sleepy cat bunny, who is currently sleeping on my bed behind me, on Instagram at chonk for life um, I didn't grow up watching Blue's Clues, but I have several younger siblings, so I've probably watched every um. episode that ever existed um all of my streams for the last week uh were canceled uh and my streams for the next couple of days that i'm supposed to be streaming are also canceled uh because i destroyed my right hand um so if you don't know the story i will spare all the gory details it was posted he, on my twitter though so if you're curious you can find that he, he um, fought a tornado it was really fucking i awesome. wish it was that cool ironically i was installing equipment in my car so that i could go fight tornadoes when i hurt my hand so i would have been out in the field almost every day of this week because there's been wild weather going on in texas out to the west of the DFW area, and I can't go and experience any of it because I messed up my hand, got stitches and everything. It was great. Um, so unfortunately, no streams uh, tomorrow or Saturday. Potentially on Tuesday, we'll see what the doctors say on Monday when I go to get uh, my stitches removed. Um, so apologies for that. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll be back up and running soon. Uh, I'm doing my best to heal as quest as quest as I fan. Right, awesome. got it. Perfect. Good English. job. Good. Let's move awesome. on. Excellent. Uh, Zito, where can they find you? You can find me over at twitch.tv slash Zito, where there there was cards to be had the other day. You'll find me playing some other indie games. I actually got uh, a lot of... Uh, Funny enough, I got a lot of people on Twitter who are game devs who actually have been giving me a bunch of their games to try out on Steam. So on stream, I should say. So that'll be fun. Uh, I can't I can't talk about them because you know embargo stuff. But so that'll that'll be fun to show off to folks. However, fucking Bio Mutants coming out next week. I'm gonna play the shit out of that. That's like the first AAA game I've seen in God knows oh, how long so that I'm good. actually excited to play. It has the, and it also has like this weird like Winnie the Pooh esque narration, but it's set in a post apocalyptic world, so it's it's got that like nice like that nice uh, soft tone to it, but all the fucking subject matter is horrible, so it's amazing. Oh god, that comes out tomorrow, doesn't it? No, the twenty fifth. Okay, <sighs> next Tuesday. Uh, and beyond that, y you've all been hearing me talk about my fucking next new book, uh, Aloysius Guide to Social Acceptance. Uh, it's it was nearing its end, but then something happened. But I'm gonna keep those little bits a secret. But just know this book is kind of like inch by inch getting bigger. But it, the 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 actual like end date of it is actually coming to a close. So as much as I'm adding as much other small stuff into the book, it will have an end point. It does have a it does have an end point, and the scope is not terribly huge. So that'll be coming out soon, which Aloysius Guide to Social Acceptance is a book of uh, 40, pl uh, 40 plus uh, races that are throughout all of D&D's history uh, based on monsters that uh, might be cool to play as and uh, a bunch of other stuff that I've made in the past two years. 
thrown on in there, like little, just add little flakes of pepper on top of it. So it's a big, hefty book, my biggest to date. I hope you enjoy it when it comes out. I'm aiming for either the end of this month or midway into next. Can't I'm wait done. to play as Rocket Raccoon Destiny 2. Uh, Takahata 101, where can they find you? Find me at twitch.tv slash Takahata101, where I am the tinkly winkly of this group. Yep. Wow. Yep. Winkly? Yep. Yep. Yes. Wow. You guys don't remember their name. You don't remember the demon's name? His name names? was Tinky Winky. Was Tinky. There was no the L. What? the new new? Tinkly what? Winkly would be if, if he had a potty problem. I, I am sending well, psychic shockwaves to your location. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ow, it hurts. Yeah, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Takahata101, where you'll see even better content like that. This week, I have a... Uh, I'm doing games that will mess with me tomorrow at 2 p.m. PST. And uh, I don't know if you ever heard of a game called The Corridor, but uh, it involves oh, a corridor. Oh, no. It's all I know. You and it's off-brand sequel. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for me. The Corridor. Uh, Edward Bosco, where can I find you? Uh, on the internet. Uh, they uh, they can also find me in Guilty Gear, the new Guilty Gear. But yeah, all yeah. Oh, yeah. Shut up. no, don't cheer. shut up! Don't cheer that. Cheer for this. Also, Octopimps in it, and it. Uh, uh, there we go. Yeah. There you go. Uh, I uh, dream dream come true for Octo. Octo's actually a high level Guilty Gear player. He was top 100 at Evo a couple years ago. I ran into him there, and it was always his dream to be in his favorite video game franchise. He put in the work. He made it come true. It was awesome to see. Also, my friend Amber, shout out to Amber. She took over uh, I Know in Guilty Gear. So it's nice to be in a game with all my friends. Numero uh, two, shout out to the live watch party going on in the Discord. If you're not on the Discord, oh, yeah. you should check it out. But uh, And thank you to everybody who came by on Tuesday for the impromptu hangout session in the lounge. We had a lot of really good talk about the show and about character creation. That was a lot of fun. I'm going to throw Darth Revan under the bus. Very interesting critiques on Remy while I was sitting there while you didn't know it. Don't be embarrassed. It was funny. Uh, so, and number three, uh, what was my third point? Right, streams. So go to twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco, where on Friday, on top of my wrestling show, I'm actually going to be in a Halo tournament. A buddy of mine who's like a oh. pro-level gamer is running like a friendly yeah. game tournament with his friends. They had somebody drop out. He asked if I want to play. So he and I are going to team up. I don't know what the teams are going to be, but we're probably going to be doing Halo 3. So it's going to be like a multiplayer tournament. It's going to be fun. I haven't done competitive Halo in a long time. We'll see what I got. So it'll be fun. So if you want to come by, check that out. It'll be fun. That's it. Thanks, folks. Next. All right. Uh, Monty Glue, where can oh, they yeah. find you? It always rhymes, which is great. Uh, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter, where I post all kinds of things, nonsense and whatnot. You can also find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Uh, tomorrow should be Ocarina of Time. I'm very sorry. I didn't stream last week because I got my driver's license now. <laughs> Hooray. <laughs> Now I can commit vehicular manslaughter. No, no that's still illegal. Still oh. illegal. And then oh, it's just the license promptly taken away. <laughs> oh. it's, it's it's only it's only one felony if you commit vehicular manslaughter now. BC services giveth, BC services taketh away. <laughs> um, and then so tomorrow will be Ocarina of Time. I'm hoping to either beat the Spirit Temple or beat the entire game. One or the other. It depends on how much energy I have. Um, and then Sunday, 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 uh, oh, myself so. and Damn world huh? Dude. huh? I, was, I was making a joke. Sunday, uh, Sunday, Sunday, and Saturday. <laughs> uh, Sunday, uh, Bosco and I are going to be playing uh, Resident Evil Eight. So I'm gonna I'm gonna finally play that game and experience it. It's my going to be my first first person Resident Evil because I never played Seven, so that'll be fun. But definitely check it out. That's it for me. Thumbs up. Oh, is that? Are you making fun of me? Because I can't do a thumbs up right now. No, Thanks, Monty. what? Well, appreciate Monty, it. Monty, put yeah, put, put put the put the Chris Redfield and Rose baby head mod on it. Just swap them. Just do it. I'll maybe if I play it again, I will. But I can't. I gotta play through it. <laughs> I gotta play planet. through it vanilla. But I did see that multiple times. And I just sagely nodded and went yes. Also, <laughs> love how immediately there was a Thomas the Tank Engine yeah. mod for Lady Dimitrescu. Right away. But it didn't yeah. change her model. It was just her face. And I'm like, yeah. that's. I love the internet. I love the internet so much, man. <laughs> so good. Also, for people in the chat I'm who are surprised that Monty plays an FPS, stay tuned because Joe Cat and I are going to take Dude. it through ODST at some point. 
Oh, I had nice. to explain to people that I actually played in like a competitive like Team Fortress 2 game, like like group Team? for a time. It was by accident though, because that's oh. how life happens. Monty, but like accidentally, the as. best player on the West Coast. Don't 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 tell me who you played as. I will judge you. Uh, I played as Engineer and Pyro. Those are my two. Mm, I have words. I know, I, I know, have... whatever. Why would you do this to me before the game? I have words now. I, I, Is it about I got... the engineer? No. I was a very good engineer. I was the, I was a really good engineer. Um, and I was not the engineer who sat next to my sentry and just wasted time. I would go out and I would kill people with my wrench and I was a fucking terror. Anyway, that's, that's all for me. We gotta, we gotta read bits and we gotta, we gotta get going here because we have a D&D &D to play. We do? Oh, I guess oh I, crap. Guess I just won't plug myself in. No. No, no you get no bonus can't. action, Connor. Damn it. For Use Connor, your I'd like to get, can I, Just uh, like can usual. I, can I give Connor uh, advantage on this by assisting? I guess. Okay, Connor. Connor, can where can they find you? Okay, uh, they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil, where I'm currently uh, producing a uh, actual YouTube content. Uh, I'm I'm making the uh, the unwritten rules of role playing uh, series on YouTube, which I have decided to call the Rule of Roll. Oh, nice. Uh, it's gonna be exploring basically basically the things I picked up on in my long years of uh, long years of playing role playing games and uh, just doing random role playing in other uh, like stuff like forums and chat rooms and stuff in my youth. But uh, other than that, on twitch.tv slash distortion devil, I'm streaming Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, Tuesdays, tabletop wargaming with my buddies, Hey Mr. Rabbit and Count Widget. Played some Death Watch. I completely smoked both of them. It was fantastic. I had a lot of fun. Uh, Friday is Friday Funhouse, where I just play a bunch of fun party games with my friends. Saturday, Yakuza 3. Uh, nearing the end of the game here, as I've as I've come to find out, uh, and Sundays I'm going to be over uh, Twitch.tv slash Yaro Shien playing D6 DR as Sirako, the Air Genasi Barbarian. Uh, all other than that, be sure to check out Dead House Sonata, uh, game that I'm I'm helping promote, doing some stuff for them. Be sure to check them out. There's going to be a link here soon. Uh, also, be sure to check out my DMs Guild, where I just released the Hellfire Soul Sorcerer uh, subclass. And also, I would like to give a special shout out uh, to those who buy my products, because today I just found out that the Passion Domain Cleric and the Predator Archetype Rogue have both become copper bestsellers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you all very much for your support uh, making for me making these 5th edition subclasses. I appreciate it a whole bunch. Uh, and look forward to more. There's going to be a whole year's worth of them. Uh, uh, by the end of this year, that is. Uh, other than that, though, uh, I'd like to thank our wonderful sponsor for this evening's events. The Die Herd. Yeah! Oh, my God. 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 Oh, Monty, he gave you so much prep time. What? I'm shaking the dice! Can't hear it. Yeah, can't hear it. Hard to hear. What, you can't? Now we're too busy no. shaking our heads. How about that? Yeah. Uh, no, yeah, the, you're, no. You've got some, like, noise canceling on or something. That God damn happen. it! God damn it! There's Hold some on. sort of gotta... anti-diehard no. field in... God okay. damn it! I've got yeah. you covered. Hold on. No, no, no! I gotta... I gotta... I gotta... Yeah. It it's work? getting cut out, Monty. It was cut yeah, out. No! Just no. Why? No! <laughs> I'm the Die Hard this... Dice uh, has has a very stealthy selection of uh, <laughs> both polymer and metal dice. They reset uh, that... depression. You can you can roll and they just won't make a sound. Just just here, check it out. You I ruined heard, the fucking I bit. I heard that one. Yeah. yeah. Those can't be real Die Hard dice. They're I too can't loud. work under these conditions. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Remember to use the promo code TAS to receive 10% off your order on all Die Hard dice, dice, and accessories. You, use it to Hunter's Bark your choice of very good dice of metal and polyhedron. Never die easy with Die Hard dice. Is this the is this the commercial ad from Galaxy Quest? Like, come on, guys. Right. Where's your spice? Well, by the thong, chips in the mail, right? 
Like They're Grandpa's hammer. Accessories. Yes. What a great deal. What a same. <laughs> what a Check out your choice of dice and dice accessories over at dieharddice.com. No, we're gonna get sued by Fox. No, no we're they don't not. own that voice. Thought they did. No. They don't well, own Connor. They don't. Not anymore. We not anymore? <laughs> he escaped his prison. Oh, no. I'll I'm tell free. you what, these... These diehard dice are just as silent as a cat. Who let Dad out? He's not supposed to be out yet. I you love can't you, keep me Dad. down. <laughs> anyway, uh, dieharddice.com. Enter in the coupon code TASK at checkout to get 10% off your order. Uh, and with that, we got some bits and subs to read off. I'll Ooh. go ahead and do that. Yeah. I'm going all the way down here. We've got oh, no. Lunatic Crow 84. Thank you for the 14 months at tier two. Extra Vowel, thank you for the eight months. Karate Eagle, thank you for the 14 months. Fantastic Callum, thank you for the 13 months. More than a year. Gonna try and stay around. Might need to rest from my COVID shot. Also, it's an it's early in the episode, but episode title, Aftershock. Ooh. We'll see. Ooh. We'll see. That's good for the earth tone. Things uh, really shall see. Zero, zero, three. Thank you for the 14 months. No message, just resub. Ah, wait a minute. Uh, just some random Steve. Thank you for gifting five tier one subs to the community, including to Monty Glue. Oh, wait, what? Not subscribed to your own channel, huh? Look, okay, Here. listen. Come on. No, I'm I'm subbed. <sighs> Entity Walker, thank you for the six months. Got some diehard dice. Hey! Therapod Art, we know that guy. Thank you for the 14 <gasps> months. Hey, uh, due to medical leave from work, this will be the first time I've been able to watch the show live in months. Okay. I think the last episode I caught live was when Captain Doof was introduced. Oh my god, that was a wow. lot of Anyway, Jesus. Monty, do you think the fire plane will have any chickafills? I adore you, Thero. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and thank you for being here live. And just thank you in general. I don't like this. I right out of here. I yeah, some dedication right here. I got, you know what? I got the taste of blood last week. So you know what? None of you are safe. And especially not Bosco. And especially not Therapod, even though he's not even playing in the game. Somehow First of all, that's anyway. messed up. Monty, why don't you go study your books on birds, all right? You don't know enough about Wiley, Willy, thank you for the 14 months. <laughs> uh, Lore Rider, thank you for the 14 months as well. The spiders be dead. What kind of monster will this new thing be? Probably Axis. something, probably something lame, like a, a fire. Bird. Uh, Nettle Norseman, thank you for the 14 months. Uh, Parsnips Dandy, thank you for the three months of Prime, or 12 months of Prime subage. Let's go. Can't believe it's been a year. Dax is 99, thank you for the 14 months. Crow the Immortal, thank you for the 14 months. Commander Solus, thank you for the 14 months. Worm Spawn, thank you for the 11 months. Nope Man 342 thank you for the nine months. Behold, the Twitchy Baby. Baby. Um, da Braver. Dark Magic Pez, thank you for the 13 months. Mythical Things 243, thank you for the gifting five tier one subs to the community. Fusebox08, thank you for the 14 months. Dumb Reject, thank you for the 14 months. 14 months, and literally the first thing I hear is Teletubby. Uh, I won't lie, I'm concerned. You should be. <laughs> J James Rochelle, thank you for gifting a, a tier one sub to Aaron Beard. Renfield88, thank you for gifting five tier one subs to the community, as well as Dr. Dink Memes PhD. Thank you for gifting five tier one subs to the community. Alucard True V, thank you for the 13 months of Prime subage. Jerry1717171717, thank you for the five bits. Pseudonym92, thank you for the 100 bits. Can't wait for Panic to save the day by giving the Fire Oni a wedgie. Oh, it's coming. What if you don't bully pants? the fuck out of you? Gonna bully the fuck out of you. I'm gonna grab your fundoshi and give you an no, atomic wedge. That is illegal. That is uncalled for, Panic. That is so not cool. Do it too. What do we say about words with more than one? I think syllable? it's a little bit called for. Irrelevant, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Uh, what fresh sun baby hell did I stumble into? Here's to a great show. White Thing, 9,018, thank you for the 100 bits. I like Big Bird, and I cannot lie. Thank you for the seven bits. Oh, great. You thought there would be a uh oh, Monty's going to kick uh, Grob Goblin's ass. No, I'm not. It's Hop. Hi, Mom. You're back. Oh. oh, goodbye. Goodbye. We lost someone. He's back. We gained oh. someone. Uh, 
Warfy, thank you for the 14 months something something earthquake pun. Mm. Blackfoot Fair, thank you for the leap bits. Big Art 61991, thank you for the 13 oh, yeah, bits. Six one nine. Uh, let's go. Got to help Dinky. Impact frame. Thank you for the eleven months. Destroyer seven seven seven. Thank you for the one hundred bits. Yeah, I'm here live. Free Shavakadu. Thank you for the eleven months of Prime subage. Eleven months. Let's go. Yak Bop. Thank you for the five hundred bits. Cheers to Mark Allen Jr.'s seven month seventh month on the show. Wow. Oh, really? Damn. Yeah. Hot this damn. arc's gone for a while, but we've also yeah. had a lot of um, sessions canceled because of COVID mm. and other reasons. So, yeah. This arc is EA Sports big. I think uh, Panic's arc Emerald... was equally as long, too. Yours was a while. Nah, wild. it felt a lot shorter. Uh, uh, Emerald Bandit, thank you for the eight months. Excited to this week's shenanigans. Gear Cannon, thank you for the 13 months of Prime Subbage. Bubba Bob, thank you for the 1,111 bits. Literally just finished last week's episode. Gaijin, amazing roleplay at the end. Monty, hilarious Aww. final blow. You never cease to surprise me. That one blind kid, thank you for the uh, 10 months. If Lady D wore a scarlet shirt, it would be a red blouse on Tata's. Oh, God. That was good. That was pretty, good. pretty good. Yeah, funny. Yeah. It's funny because she's got big booba. You get uh, a raw zero. Mad Tom K, thank you for the 14 months. Woo, 14 months. Umbertastic, thank you for the 500 bits. Uh, I grew watching Blue's Clues, and that's not why I'm here. Why <laughs> I am here is to throw bits and watch Greckles go from his base form to Super Saiyan. It's true. One can only hope. Uh, Drake Fate, thank you for the 12 months of Prime Subbage. Loving the show. Tri Edge, thank you for the uh, 10 months. Uh, the name's... The, the name's Katana, but spelt like cotton, A. Uh, thank you for the uh, 2,500 bits. Been watching since last year, and I recently got a new job, so I'll be able to drop more bits. Also, it's Cotton, Bosco. You got my name wrong last time. Uh, Might have been me. Uh, a cat named Garbage. Thank you for the 10,000 bits. I cast Woo! bits. Oh, wow, 10,000. So oh, I got 10,000. That is a, a lot of bits. I can't hold all these bits. Thank you I so can't much. hold them. A cat named Garbage. Like to Booyah, thank you for the 200 bits. By next week, I should be working again after the isolation. Thank you for keeping me company since then. Heck yeah. Stalazar Sassel, thank you for the two months. Hail Hydro, thank you for the two months. Oh, fuck. It's a mess time. Uh, Rouge Phoenix, thank you for the 60 bits. Question for Taka. How do you feel about Helsing Abridged Audio being super popular on TikTok? It's a little bit weird, but it's cool. I don't even know what to say. It's neat. Yeah. Chris Goady, thank you for the seven bits. Take my bits and let the rolls tonight be good. Connor, uh, three, three minutes, so. Okay. TikTok. Uh, Stormfox116, wait, no, I was on somebody else. Z-Man Stardust, thank you for the 14 months. Stormfox116, thank you for the 11 months. Erwin Elf, thank you for the 100 bits. Captain Dead, thank you for the 5 months. Fishnix, thank you for the, uh, 10 months. Guardian Gamer 64 thank you for the 500 bits. The Hand in the Iron Fist, thank you for the 14 months. Captain Undead, thank you for the 400 bits. Chris Goady, thank you for the 4 bits. Magic Ninja Go, thank you for the 100 bits. A Red Wolf Gamer, thank you for the 10 bits. The Chibi Wolf, thank you for the 300 bits. Dusty Bone, thank you for the four months. Foxley Foe, thank you for the six months. Not Dante 42, thank you for the 14 months. Foxley Foe, thank you for the sub. Uh, Magic Ninja Go, thank you for the 100 additional bits. Uh, Blackfoot Ferret, thank you for the 420 bits. Dread Hunter 335, thank you for the 14 months. Who are you wearing my pants? Thank you for the four bits. <laughs> Lost me the robot. Thank you for the twelve months. Uh, Sin sinful. Thank you for the twelve months. Lost me the robot. Thank you for the uh, ten bits. Uh, Zizo the dark witch. Thank you for the five bits. Irish katana. Thank you for the one thousand bits. Shiny lamp. Thank you for the fourteen months. Marcus Otero. Thank you for the fourteen months. Dabongsk. Thank you for the fourteen months. Zen Lita. Thank you for the five hundred bits. Felix the bard. Thank you for the fourteen months. Algian Ep, thank you for the 13 months of Prime. Aeon Protech Gaming, thank you for the 15 <gasps> subs gifted to the community. That's smart. Yeah. We know that guy. 
Satifani, mm. thank you for the prime sub. Destroyer777, thank you for getting a tier one sub to Zito. Uh, ben Drummond, thank you for the oh, 12 guy. months. Uh, great uh, great Ham Knight, thank you for the 100 bits. Phallus, thank you for the 14 months. Ben Drummond, thank you for gifting five subs to the community. Alex Blackheart, thank you for the 255 bits. Uh, Chris Ursaris, thank you for the 12 months of prime subage. Entity Walker, thank you for the 100 bits. Infin Infinite Scratch, thank you for the 11 months. Disco Tech Priest, thank you for the 11 months. I like Big Bird and I cannot lie, thank you for the 5 bits. 95 Derpy Wolves, thank you for gifting a sub. Travis A. Carey, thank you for the 120 or for the 150 bits. Irish Katana, thank you for the 300 bits. Who are you wearing my pants? Thank you for the 50 bits. Burnout Vaughn, thank you for the 100 bits. Sergeant Tucker, thank you for the 100 bits. I like Big Bird and I cannot lie. Thank you for the five bits. Marcus Chronicle, thank you for the six months of Prime. Vex West, thank you for the four months of Prime. Chris Godey, thank you for the five month or for the five bits. And Benny Boy96, thank you for the three months. All right. You guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Never. Good chat. Uh, actually, give me just a second. I, I need to go take care of something real quick. Okay. How dare. One. That's it. Your second's up. You're going to be counting for a while. Two. Three. Chat, count along. Four. 525,600 five, minutes. Seven. Eight. That's how long it's going to take for Connor to get back. Ten. You might just want to start 11, and like leave me out of it for a 12, bit, like honestly. 13. Okay. You might. <sighs> we can start and then I'll just call on you when you get back. Just to type type in the chat when you're ready to go. Connor? Okay. I, he has wireless headphones. He can hear me. When last we left our heroes, Greckles the Kenku Rogue, Task the Cobalt Ranger, Panic the Tiefling Bard, Borky the Orc Barbarian, Remy the Kenku Fighter, and a newfound friend in Seika the Fire Ganassi Monk, the party was successful in killing Donkutsu, the tyrannical and spiderific Oni of the elemental plane of Earth, but not without a loss. Using underhanded means and skittering slams, Seika was slain on the field of battle, leaving the rest of the party to take out their vengeance on the cowardly Oni. With Donkutsu now slain, the Earth Plane is now free of his tyrannical rule, and the people rejoice. Panic, utilizing a piece of his precious diamond, managed to pull Seika away from the domain of Hoketh and the company of the Harvest Man. Now, after a long rest with the recovering army of Earth Ganassi that remain, the party awakens, sore, victorious, but with a grim future ahead. So you all gain the benefits of a long rest. Oh, thank Hooray. God. Thank goodness. Huzzah. God, I gotta redo my spells when we get home. <laughs> Uh-oh. So oh, I get to I get to remove the death save failures off my character sheet. Yeah, I, you do. I, I accidentally hit F10 and F11 at the same time, so like my screen went like completely warbled. It's Your fine though. Divided by zero. Yeah, it was just like what the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys are set in some very nice bed chambers. Um, the nicest sand that you can sleep on. Hell yeah! Never gonna get used to that. I can. <laughs> just peeking his head out. Yeah, you just Those like lizards. like a snake like poking its head out of the sand. You're like the. Yeah. Seika. Mm -hmm. You feel very strange. How so? You remember when you studied with Master Kai in meditation? Your body feels sore, which is normal for the type of combat that you had. But it feels like your soul isn't in the right place. As you awaken next morning, it feels like it's better, but it's such a strange sensation that it's impossible to describe. Am I still able to uh, 
focus and center and like connect with my key and all of that? You can, yes. It's difficult though. It takes more time. Hmm. But as you awaken, stiff bones, you guys are starving. Who's ready for cave fisher egg breakfast? I am all about that. Let's fucking go. As you guys walk out, you see all the earth ganas you saw who are these very, pardon the pun, but stone-faced, serious sort of soldiers are smiling. They're rejoicing. I'm in a sneeze. <laughs> I sneezed. Um, Success! Any sense of you know, there's a rigid structure here, but as the like as the enemy has disappeared, they look like people again. And you begin to realize that a lot of them probably aren't soldiers to begin with. As you guys make your way out, there is food for you, but it's not rockfisher eggs or cavefisher eggs. Um, it's some sort of like I don't know how to describe it. it it's like lobster or crab. Crayfish? Not really. It's like a weird mixture between like a like a oyster consistency and like a lobster, and it's being cooked properly okay, over yeah, some that hot is, is it? Yeah, that is a little a weird. Lo yeah, th a that lobster? is weird considering that those are two animals that don't fucking mingle together. Uh, go ahead and roll maybe a nature or yeah, nature check potentially. So, it, so it's a rock lobster, is what you're saying? Kind of, yeah. Uh, negative two. Nice. Uh, Fifteen. Seven. Nope. Seven. I believe it has uh, to tell me what it is if I roll a negative number, right? No. <laughs> um, <laughs> Greckles, this actually makes a lot of sense for you. Whatever this is, is clearly a some sort of creature that exists in the elemental plane of Earth. It reminds you of something like a geoduck or um, maybe something of a similar, like a sea cucumber. That kind of like strange, it's not quite a oh. mollusk-ish, oh, but weird. it has a, a firmer texture. But it smells really good. It smells really savory somehow. Mm -hmm. And it has clearly some salt that's been put on it. And there's there's a lot of them. It looks like someone probably brought them in. Um, they definitely are drier than, say, a geoduck would be. Huh. I know it looks a little weird, gang, but it smells really good. Yeah, it tastes great. You watch as the uh, Earth Ganassi kind of sitting behind like this slab of hot stone is kind of putting his hands on his waist and leaning down and goes, take as much as you want. As far as I'm concerned, you people are heroes, legends, even. Oh. Yep. He, 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 he blushes a little at that. <laughs> I'm going oh, to take, yeah. some, I'm gonna take some of that food then. Um, yeah. money. Yeah. Uh, I know I know this is probably going to be later, but it is a big priority for Greckles if he sees Vanguard Jade to, to okay. approach her. As you look around, you don't see Vanguard Jade, and you also don't see Remy. Oh. Oh. Do you guys... Wait, wait, wait. Do you guys know where Remy went? Remy, as you are gotten up early and are scouring about this large keep, you eventually turn a corner... And you see currently tending to these strung up dead bodies now laying on the ground and being covered. You see Vanguard Jade with a few of her lieutenants at her side currently doing some manner of procession with what she has available to her as you kind of peek around the corner. Uh, were those the bodies that were essentially tied up as we were pursuing the Oni? Yes. Okay. Uh, I am going to wait respectfully until there is an appropriate time to approach if they are in the middle of some kind of procession. Because I don't know roll the culture, a, but... Roll a perception check. Okay. Uh, if it ever shows up. Come on, roll 20. Yeah, roll 20 being slow. It Ooh, updated boy. recently. On, so. 24. Oh, wow. You hear one of the lieutenants go, we should do some manner of procession. And you watch, you hear uh, Vanguard J response, respond with, with what clergy? can make something up, I suppose. She stands up and steps away. <clears throat> you clear Remy's your throat? Gonna, yeah, Remy's going to walk in. He's not going to clear his throat <laughs> in-game. That was me clearing my throat. Uh, he is going to walk in and attempt to approach her if she's walking away. 
She is, and she's just kind of standing and seems to be assessing. There is a great deal of grief on her face. Um, as you approach inside, the lieutenant see you and then immediately turn to see the Vanguard's Jade's reaction, and she kind of... You see her the jaw clench slightly. Good work. You're victorious. Yes. I'm sure your companions are overjoyed and happy. And you lost no one. She kind of turns to the bodies. It's more than I can say for myself. Suppose you're here to gloat then. No. No, I'm not. Uh, Remy is going to very slowly pull out his sword. Uh, and as long as she doesn't stop him, he is then uh, directly in front of her, going to plant it in the ground. Uh, he is then going to step back with his left foot and drop his left knee to the ground, uh, right forearm over the right knee, and then clasp his right forearm with his left talon. I apologize for the disrespect shown to you when last we spoke. Though we may disagree, it does not excuse my tone. Where I come from, when a warrior has wronged another, this is how it is shown. Please. Accept my humblest apologies on my honor as a Raven Knight. You feel a hand on your shoulder. Remy's head will be tucked down. I accept your apology. Your tone was wrong, but your words were right. Remy will stand back up and retrieve his sword. When two warriors in our tribe or family are upset with each other, This is how we apologize. You watch as she reaches over her shoulder and she snaps off a piece of jade at her shoulder. You can see her go, <clears throat> she hands it to you. Remy, for the first time in a very long time, is gonna pull a feather off of his body and hand it back. She takes it. She kind of like waves it. She goes, ah. Oh. She's like all weirded out by it. She's <laughs> like. I know it is different, but. She kind of turns and she goes, there's not much of us left. <laughs> Barely enough to make a town. But there are enough of you left to continue forward. And you will Who rebuild knows? and you will grow. Who knows? Maybe some of the children that are on their way will be skilled at magic. There are other planes that can help as well. You're right. Roll a persuasion check with advantage. <sighs> Here Don't we go. Fuck it up. How's a 15? She looks to you and she goes, You and your friends must continue forward. To the fire plane, yes. She's got a class of hands. We're, we're rebuilding. But there is something I might be able to do for you. I'm listening. She lets go. I can't promise anything. So I'd rather not tell you. As you wish. If you would like some words said for your men, I can try to arrange something with my companions. It's the least we could do. You've done enough for us. You've saved us. <laughs> that Toby Kage, Kai's son. She like cocks her head a little. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> He's a noble warrior. Small, very nice shade of blue. He's a good person. He is a hero. I hope they Indeed write stories friend. about him someday. <laughs> My 
My hope is the gods themselves will speak his name. That is the impact I hope he has on this world in his own plane. Speaking of gods, she turns. We must seek out Zaratan if you were to proceed forward. If you know the name, if you know the way, we would be very grateful. You watch her corner her mouth kind of twitch, and she goes, "That is unknown." We were able to discover how to make the seal. Surely, there will be records on a path forward. Yes. To my knowledge, she kind of turns towards the bodies and just for a moment turns back. My companions, when the initial assault arrived, one of them mourned Zaratan and he has been hiding. Since the false rantulas can peer into our mind, we re remove that knowledge from us, more that nobody knew pr to protect him. You understand, right? Of course. But is there a way to call out to him to, to seek his guidance? I may speak with, I think, Gravel's ex-girlfriend was maybe a cleric. I, I'm dealing with what I have. I'll look into it, but for now, go be with your companions. Celebrate your victory. Remy will give a courteous bow and exit the room. Hey. She kind of stops you. Aye. Don't die. I never die easy. He'll head out. Okay. Uh, after a while, uh, you guys are sitting down eating. This food is really interesting. It's it's chewy. Yeah. But it's like it's like every time you chew into it, it's like it's really tough. But like every time you chew into it, there's this really like this really great burst of flavor. It's like for those of you who maybe had it, it's like really really firm calamari. I was about to say, you're, you're describing okay. like octopus. With yeah. like octopus, but octopus is kind of rubbery and chewy. This is a little bit more snappy, if that makes sense. Mm. Like when you bite down, it's like... Yeah. You, you, you ever like see that scene... Crunchy and chewy. Mm -hmm. You ever seen that scene in Atlantis where the, the doc is just, the doctor character just like goes, don't forget to eat the head. That's where all the nutrient is. He just fucking oh, sucks Oh, God, no. <laughs> That's what, is that what Task is doing? Yep. The bridge. This I'm thing has no head. It is like a, it's like a weird, it's like a ball. Like when you actually see them as they are, they look like geodes on the outside, but on the inside, it's like flesh. It's really kind of cursed. Oh, wow. But <laughs> it tastes good. It legitimately, like the texture is something to be desired. Um, but the taste is there. It tastes like a really savory kind of grilled seafoody kind of like food. It's, it's, it's hard to describe, but it is delicious and it's hearty too. Like you eat one, they're kind of small. Like they're about the size of a, of a, of a baseball. You eat one and your stomach feels like there's like a weight in your chest. Like it sits really heavy in the stomach, but it's hearty for all of you like, guys, especially those who fought so intensely, which is basically all of you. It is a well welcomed meal. Uh, this is the Earth Ganassi equivalency of uh, elven bread. Yeah, actually, that's a really great way to put it. Lembus Rock. Lembus Rock. Lembus Rock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hope I'm going to be able to get up and run after this. Eventually, Remy appears, and tailing after him, after a little while, comes Vanguard Jade, who goes and also grabs two of her own food items and cracks them open with, like, a friend, and she goes to victory, and then walks over and kind of checks in, and she just goes, how many wounded do we have? And they're like, six, but they'll recover, and they're kind of, she's just kind of checking in with her men and just seeing how the state of things are. Greckles would probably wait until she's done eating. Like, it's it's not a, it's not a, I gotta rush over kind of thing. It's like a you whenever guys, we can sit down and talk. You guys take some time and you eat. Do you guys want to all approach Vanguard Jade? Do you want to approach Vanguard Jade by yourself, Greckles? Um, if other people want to come with, it's not that huge a deal. You can count me in. Yeah. Okay. She'll come to your table then. And she sits down and she goes, To victory. Again, Victory. I don't know how to thank you. We've been scouring through the, the courts and keep trying to find some means of rewarding you, but things okay. are either culturally significant and... Vanguard Jade, we came here on a mission. 
and the only thing that I cared about was seeing that mission through. I you have a noble heart. She kind of nods at you. I can't help but feel like... Maybe not my doing, but with how certain events went through, I can't help but feel like it is a responsibility to set things right here and on every other plane. If there's nothing to offer, then that's fine. There was nothing expected. Although, I will mention, I have been speaking with the other leaders of the other elemental planes. And by the word of my father, I am hoping to put together a coalition of elements. Maybe not so. Hang on. I understand how divided the elements no. must be. No. You are right. She turns and looks towards Remy and looks back to you. Oh. <laughs> I intend to do that on your behalf as a proper reward. That is the only thing I can offer you at this time. That would be more than welcome. There is a great battle that my friends and I will have to fight to save. Well, maybe to save the entirety of the material plane. I could not ask for soldiers. I could not ask for support, but... You can't. <sighs> But I have a way of getting into the minds of the water ganasi. And though the air ganasi can be a bit... She just stares at the camera like she's <laughs> on the office. <laughs> I can at least get some words through their very thin and squishy skulls. I wouldn't, ju I wouldn't take them too lightly. Although they are air. There are many warriors there with good, strong, solid hearts. And they have magic, which we're going to need help with. But the only way I can get there is by seeking out Zaratan. Also, people are typing and I can hear it. Please either mute your mic or stop typing, please. Um, she turns and she goes, hmm? Can, can, are, are, is this a private conversation? No. This, she's at our table. No, I was like, anyone can jump in. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, sorry, I was uh, chewing my, uh, chewing my gooey rock. Uh, if you are open to suggestions about possible meeting places for this, why not choose the material plane? No, we will probably meet in the water or the airplane. I am doing this. You need to continue forward. I couldn't, for, I couldn't ask for anything else. Just something to make sure that there is some semblance of balance between the four. Balance shifts. Like the quaking of the earth. But we do need allies in this. I meant what I said, and she turns towards you, Seika. Though it pains you, cousin. He's very Based slow to respond to her words. It's almost like his head kind of drifts before he makes eye contact with her. If this is the state of the earth plane, and the fire plane was the invasion point... I am concerned about time and about resources. If that is such a great... very little love. We need to find Zaratan. We need to get you guys moving forward. How can we do that? What aid can we offer? I don't know. Um, my Indeed. friend... Your friend? They died. They were the ones who spoke to Zaratan. They were, I guess, a cleric of sorts. A primordial connector. A warrior, mostly. They are the ones who told Zaratan to flee. But even then, we do not know where they are. Um, at this point, Seika, you feel something like shudder in your pocket? Nice. Uh, I will reach in and pull it out. As you reach in, you feel something grab onto your hand and you're like, God, you kind of reach up your hand and you see Peb's just hanging by your hand and he looks dazed. <laughs> he looks like he's been through hell and high water. I'll, I'll very politely and gently set him down on the table. As you do, he tucks in his arms and like just thump, goes back into being a rock. You just see these two peering yellow eyes just staring back. He really is hardy, huh? I wasn't aware he was even in there. I squint at him. 
Tass gets up from his seat and sees if he actually, like, turns to face him. Pabs just seems to be, like, in, like, a hermit crab state, just, like, not wanting to just exist right now. You get the sense he was probably in the pocket the entire time. <laughs> oh. God. Poor guy. <laughs> Tass, like, snaps his fingers to get his attention. You you hear, like, a... You ever you know when a bowl like rolls or like a plate goes like shoo, 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 like a oh, yeah. like a hubcap yeah. like kind of moves and like mm -hmm. slowly turns. You watch as Pebs kind of does that and then like the eyes just shoot up and look towards you. Task. Not if you know anything about Zeratan. They blink. I have to see if Pebs speaks common. I was gonna I say I can translate if need be. Hold on. Gotta grab Peb's stats. I love that he has a stat sheet. He does. It's an official stat sheet, too. Yeah, I love it. Uh, page page 22 of the Tortal expansion. Uh, he does not understand you, Task, and he begins to, like, roll the other way. <laughs> like, you just wasted uh, my time. Like, shoo, shoo, shoo. Seika will translate. Peb's stands up and seems to listen to you. He nod though does he respond to yeah, does he respond like does he does he answer like i asked him to nod if he knew anything about zaratan oh he does he nods like very slightly i guess we're gonna just translate this yeah <laughs> whatever it is you want to ask we'll just assume seika is translating for you yeah. do you know where he is you watch as pebs kind of cocks their rock to the side stands up and then like very quickly and suddenly, like suddenly skitters to a wall and slaps their hand, and they're going to use their stone tell ability. Ah, uh, he's going to turn the wall into an etch a sketch. No, you've oh. got to be fucking kidding me. This guy. They actually knows have they they literally have an ability where they can figure out what's been in the stone nearby for like what time. Nice. So <laughs> he knows what's been traveling through the earth plane this entire time. Holy, that's crap. wild. <laughs> Yeah, Damn. it's really that's why he's the Pathfinder, guys. Yeah, that's why he's the Pathfinder. Uh, you can't we without your say. Yeah, but is he like three five? Is he the new? Is I'm he? Gonna uh, 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 <laughs> you watch his bust out the grapple flow chart. It sounds like a kid slapping like a concrete school wall, where it's like slip, slap. He watches Pebs begins to like jump up and down and begins to skitter really quickly out of nowhere. And Jay goes, I think we have our lead. And she grabs her hammer and kind of shoulders it. Come on. Oh, geez. Uh, all oh, right. Boy. All right. We're, we're going already. All right. Away Wait, we go. hold on. Uh, rock. And you watch as like one of the Earth Ganassi turns. No, the other run. And the other one turns and goes, Ugh. And, like, raises a hand. She goes, the thing. And you watch as he hucks a leather pouch and she catches it. And she goes, thanks. I'll be back. In a while, a really long time. Keep working on the repopulation project. We'll get there. And she chases after you guys. Everyone thumbs up as you go past. <laughs> Side <laughs> glances. Did you just tell them to? Yeah. Is that really so surprising? Listen, listen. We need more Earth Kanasi. We're a little lacking right now. She kind of narrows her eyes as you guys are running after Pep. She kind of narrows your eyes at you, panic, and goes, "Do you know where babies come from?" Fucking, are you kidding me? <laughs> well, you I'm, just saying, it's a, I'm just saying it's a little weird that, that the military weird, commander is saying, hey, you, have sex. <laughs> Actually, I was going to ask, does she, is she asking oh. earnestly or is she being... She it's kind of a joke. Well, it's kind of a joke. It, 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 it makes more like... sense than random soldiers. Mm. <laughs> I don't like calling it a project, though. It's a little sterile. Artificial. <laughs> well, Panic, it's, you know, at least it's not your people. Let them do what they will. I wasn't gonna try and stop them. Also here, just you guys are kind of like walking. By the way, Pebs is like skittering and like smacking a wall and then like skittering. It's like it's like watching like a really fast crab like go over to something, touch it, and then go into their shell, come out, and then like skitter around. It's like... It's very strange to watch happen, as you've not seen Pebs move this fast this entire time. Do we get the um, sense that he's basically, like, tracing breadcrumbs? 
Yeah, he's kind of looking mm -hmm. around, it seems. Okay. Uh, uh, as he does, he begins to, like, find a path, and there's a giant boulder in the way. And Peb slaps the boulder and then hops up and down, like... And it's like a full, like, jumping up in the air and then receding back into his rock all the way to the ground and then jumping up into the air and then receding back to his rock. It's like uh, this over and over little jumping I'm, thing. I, I'm getting spirited away spoot, soot spirit vibes yeah, from this. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I believe we may need to move this rock. Oh. Well, Vanguard J kind of cracks her knuckles and rolls her neck. Let me give this a shot. That's ought to be good. <laughs> That was. Here, I... <laughs> uh, the battle wore me out. You know, it's just say. I... No, no, it's I fine. Had... I can't even. Good. I can't even give you crap because I'm exhausted. Can Remy help her, please? <laughs> sure. Uh, Borky, Remy, go ahead and roll an. I don't want to cheer me. I'm napping. It's a thirteen. Go ahead, Borky. Roll an athletics check. You're serious? Um, no, yeah. she was kidding. No, because I. I accidentally closed my 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 roll twenty. <laughs> I just realized that. Well, get back in here. You're playing D and D. I know. I accidentally. Oh my god. You silly Billy. Oh, I know, right? Oh, right. I knew why that was happening. I just hit the button on his character sheet. <laughs> yeah. No, please do. Actually, I because I actually I'm not, I'm completely logged out of my account, so I gotta find yeah, it. Yeah, it'll out. kick you out after a time. So. No, like doesn't even remember my password. So. Oh jeez. Do you remember your password? Oof. I'm gonna be there in one second. Hold on. It's three people. We'll be all right. Yeah. We're good. I'm in. Okay. Sorry. So as With thirteen and fourteen for Borky. Vanguard Jade, Borky, and Seika. Oh, no, Seika. Uh, Remy. Seika's watching. Yeah, I got noodle. You guys right trying now. not to die again? Yeah. <laughs> as you guys lift, you were kind of making fun of Vanguard Jade. She's carrying the weight. She got the highest roll with a twenty-seven. Or sorry, oh. a twenty-five. Sorry, twenty-five. As she. <laughs> Uh, and you guys move the boulder out of the way. And the moment the boulder does a crack, like even as you guys are still pushing, Peb skitters between your feet and runs into the tunnel. Uh, <laughs> oh, we got to get him to slow down. Follow after Panic, Panic just kind of looks at all the back muscles going on and just goes, hmm. <laughs> okay, you know what? Don't. You travel, with two of those, you travel with two of those people, all right? Turn your x-ray vision off, you creeper. And? <laughs> I'm telling Helena. All right, let's continue. Okay. As you guys enter into the tunnel, it is dark, pitch dark. There's no light. The Quartz and Keep has had some ambient light through the similar sort of setup with like the glowing crystals. This space has nothing. It well, is dance, pitch black. The dance also, light's Kurt, coming out. <laughs> also, Kurt, just you're breathing into your microphone a little bit. Really? So I'm breathing away from my mic. God damn. Yeah, you're coming up. Sorry. All right. Yeah, dance, dancing light's coming out. All right, foom, foom, foom. as you do so, one of the lights, that's really scary. I don't want that. That's Whoa, really scary. Spooky. I was like, what did you find? Whoa, uh, no, no. I sense an ominous reaction. Uh, I've Sorry, changed my mind. I'm going back on the other side of the rock. Thanks. So what, you hear a voice as it turns a corner. Well, Ethan Winters. <laughs> no. no. I don't even know who that is. So as you foom, 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 cause these uh, lights, one of them, because it's dark, one of them like appears right in front of Pebs and Pebs, you see Pebs' eyes just go dazed for a second as he like spins around and is like, kind of blinks a few times. And he kind of begins to hop up and down trying to get you guys to follow him. All right, slow down, slow down. We're trying to keep up. Dark right. is pitching here. As you guys proceed forward, your journey takes four hours through winding God. tunnel paths. Oh. Wow over treacherous ravines and cracks in the earth where you can see the peaking sunlight above. You once reach a chamber that has 12 different directions in it and you're all like, uh, but Pebs manages to take you down the right path. Eventually the path widens and you see these beautiful glittering crystals of varying different colors, like a rainbow tapestry of beauty, begin to encompass the cavern. Not sharp, but soft, opal-like, rounded stones that protrude out of the walls. And as you walk, you see them growing, almost surfacing from the earth slowly, like plants regrowing on a dead earth. Is it possible to take one? 
these are very embedded. Damn. It would take a long time. And you don't have a golden pickaxe, so. Who well, the fuck uses pickaxe. gold? Get that shit out of here. It's diamond or nothing. Yeah. Silver! Is he still going or has he stopped yeah. in this area? Sorry, I just had to grab a book. He oh, keeps okay. going. Okay. As you guys follow, his pace begins to slow and you begin to hear a. Like a wind? Roll perception check. Oh, oh it's no. rock. Uh oh. It wasn't a normal rock. It wow, was big, double rock big rolls. Uh, that's a but six. But it wasn't a rock Seca. with a 13. Okay. Uh, Remy, this is a listening check, so this is just a straight roll for you. Yeah. I'll do it as well. It's 10. 18. Nice. Uh, it's like the grinding of slow stone. Like a millstone grinding flour, but also the deep guttural snore or breath of a massive creature. Oh. Turtle brother. I guess we'll just keep making our way. Does uh, anyone... As you do, the ground... Does anyone else hear that rumble? We all hear it, Porky. Okay, it's not just me then. No. As you guys proceed forward, the ground begins to vibrate with each. Hey, do y'all feel that rumbling now instead of just hearing it? I can feel it. Okay, good. As, she stopped me then. As you guys proceed to walk, you watch as you reach a dead end. Uh -oh. A patch of bumpy brown stone that leads nowhere. And Pebs immediately tucks his arms in and becomes a small rock shape. What? <laughs> you watch I... as the wall opens and a massive green and yellow eye larger than any eye you've ever seen. Well, except for maybe still have it ease, opens up and looks directly at all of you. Oh, but immediately sure that. Im immediately getting down and bowing <laughs> for a sense of scale uh 10 feet by 10 feet oh, oh it's, it's a big eye this must be huge you watch as all of the stone around you begins to shake when like you guys kind of grab onto each other as you watch the earth around you begin to almost fall like silt around you like a crumbling sand castle and you kind of put your hands over your heads and you watch as the ground shifts and you see now before you the massive turtle-like face of zaratan the elder elemental of the elemental plane of earth Man. you watch vanguard jade immediately oh. gets to me and goes and you see her speak in terran which you understand say goes master zaratan I'm glad to see you healthy and well. As you can feel, the Elemental Plains is no longer cursed, thanks to these heroes. Hello. How do the Onis fight these guys? It moans, and the entire ground rattles. Uh, all you guys make dexterity saving throws for me. Oh, God. Oh, wow, I'm glad I got those oh, no. double nat ones out the way. Oh, that was beautiful. I got a nat oh, one my God. Well. Well, this does not bode well if, for me. If, if this is if this is to, to if this is to make H! everybody prone, so that's a six on. for. Yeah, six. we're all just prone. Oh, it's fine. All the roll eleven. It. All the roll it. Why not? Oh. Sixteen. Okay. All right. As Vanguard Jade is kneeled and nothing happens to her, the rest of you guys like all like it's like suddenly the ground just shifted like up to like a forty degree angle, and all you guys go ah! and kind of fall over onto your sides. Panic! You like manage to kind of like go the opposite way and kind of like do like the paint me like one of your French girls. So it's not super embarrassing, but it's still, you know. Nailed it. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> like a glove. As the ground like shifts back. Glove. As the ground shifts back, <laughs> all of you guys begin to like roll back. It's like a like the ground uh, is just uh, being uh, shifted back and forth like a uh, like a carnival ride. Eventually Seriously. How did the Onis fight these guys? 
Very large thumbs? Well, Vanguard Day turns. He is ready for you, and he seems to like you quite a bit. Oh, it's, uh, that's, that, that, that's good. He's just spinning. <laughs> yeah, you guys steady yourselves to your feet. The ground is no longer shaking as Zaratan Ooh. simply has its head turned and one eye glaring. Not glaring, but, but looking at you. Well, if, if this is to be goodbye, uh, Vanguard Jade, I hate to ask this. Is there something I could have to remember you by? To remember this place by? Hmm. Nothing complicated or powerful, just something simple. She reaches down and grabs Pebs, and she holds up. I could send this to the material plane for you. Does What's Pebs look like he's on board with this idea? Yeah, for real. <laughs> His arms and legs are just drooping, and he just seems to be accepting, like, being held this way. He can he can carry exactly one drink. Oh my it's god, you're not going to employ yeah, him. Almost just mock the bar. Right, like, right. Well, we're not paying him, so he's not employed. <sighs> we can at least feed we still gotta feed him. And now indentured servitude is what? frowned upon. It's frowned Anj, upon. Anj will I, find something to do. I I I suppose if if this this fellow is up for it. Sir. I don't know. But <laughs> more seriously. She kind of reaches in, kind of into her shirt, and mm -hmm. she pulls over this beautiful medallion. Ooh. She kind of takes it off and she hands it. She goes, I'm lending you this. There Absolutely. You it's a sign of a vanguard. I humbly accept this. Thank you very much. Zaratan kind of turns and uh, Kurt, you're still breathing into your microphone. All right. Zaratan turns and you can hear the sort of grum, like the sort of low, like mm. Vanguard J turns. Uh, Seika, roll an insight check. Uh, seven. Minus four. Yeah, or that's minus three, rather. You did. Oh, yeah. Okay. You got it. Never mind. I'll be over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your car. Okay. You get the sense that there's a great deal of concern coming from Zaratan as he looks upon you, Seika. Uh, he will see, and Jade and, and anyone who's observant enough will see it uh, reflected in Seika's own expression. Mm hmm. And he watches his mouth opens up in this massive maw, and you see a path inside. Oh, oh! Here we go again. Are we to go inside, Vanguard Jade? That will take you to the elemental plane of fire. Now it seems Zaratan says you must be careful in doing so. Oh my God! You're gonna hate me. I completely forgot about that plane. I thought we was done. Ah, oh, I celebrated too soon. Gary, how did I forget about the fire plane? Borky, that's oh. that's where my father is. I know. I feel like reason. an idiot. Let's just go. Let's go. I feel like an idiot. Wow. <laughs> all right, all right, people. Make sure we have our. Uh, what is the apparatus? It's been a long here. journey, Greckles. It's been a uh, long journey. I know. The, I got windy. Uh, frost salamander cloaks. Frost you guys cloaks. Yeah, we need our ponchos. <laughs> They're they're cowls or um, what would be the term? I have for it? I have poncho on here specifically. I, Do you? I, I okay. like I like to imagine it's too big for Tassa. It's just overflowing him. It's just like a hood and the tail like is a, sticking out. I was supposed to say like a snout sticking out somewhere. You look like yeah. Uh, you look like a Jawa. Yep. We can only see your eyes through the hood. <laughs> yep. 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 <laughs> As you guys <laughs> proceed forward, assuming Actually, you do. Actually, I was gonna say. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Seika is at the back of the group, and he's kind of just staring at the path. I mean, I was going to go in last, so I'm going to turn around and 
go approach him if he's standing still. Panic would also hang back. Mark is just marveling at the teeth. Oh, wow. <laughs> my, my. Greckles, I guess, will be the first to not step in, but to approach. My father's in there somewhere. We've got to do something. We've got to free him. No matter what it takes. Vanguard Jade? Yes. You have my utmost trust to rebuild your society and to see everything through. I'll be sure to tell my father about the happenings here and see if we can bring some relief, if that's even possible. She kind of nods and steps back. Seika seems to be, I'm assuming, frozen in front of the path ba ahead. Basically, yeah. 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 I don't know what's going to wait, but I know my destiny's forward. And he'll just start moving forward. Okay. Like Tonberry looking ass starts moving too. Okay. Seika, I know this won't be easy. But whatever's on the other side, we will face it together. Staying here won't change it. There is wisdom to your words, but fear in my heart. It's a natural reaction. I'd be confused if you weren't afraid. But you can face this fear. You have come so far. This is but the next step. And if you want, we'll walk this together. You'll notice that his eyes kind of alight on... Greckles is back as he's moving down the pathway, and uh, he brightens a little bit as he turns towards you. I think I can see the path now. Thank you. Ready and he'll step forward. Yep. Okay. The rest of you all walk into the mouth of Zaratan and watch as the mouth <laughs> closes behind you. As you proceed forward, it becomes an impossible space and it begins to get hotter and hotter and hotter. Anyone not wearing their cloak would have had to make constitution saving throws immediately. But as you all don I'm... your cloaks, you what are immune. I have... hmm? What if I have hellish resistance? That's, that doesn't help you here. Ah, beans. It's primordial fire. It's what primordial even... fire. By the way, the cloaks will not give you uh, resistance to fire damage. It is straight up to prevent the residual effect of the elemental plane of fire. What are you even good for, devil genes? Throwing fathers off of cliffs. <laughs> wow. Among All right. That's, well, we're going to unpack a, that when we get through the te portal. <laughs> that's a Tekken joke, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, no, we're going <laughs> to unpack that later. <laughs> As you guys walk, Task, you want to talk to Eos? I did. I don't think it's going to go anywhere, but I, I just keep hearing this word over and over and over again coming from everyone in the party, and I'm just like, maybe there's something we could do, but I doubt it will. So I guess T Tass will try to speak to Aos uh, telepathically. Okay, yeah. You awake? You, 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 you assume I sleep. Just trying to be courteous, but there is something that's been bugging me, and I wanted to get your opinion on it. My, 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 my opinion. Certainly. Have you noticed that I assume that you could hear all of us since you <laughs> don't sleep? But everyone in our team has been saying the same word over and over again. We don't have time. We don't have time. We don't have time. Oh my god, I'm becoming you. I'm repeating myself. Ta 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 task. You're mortal. You obsess over time. That is something I've learned being in the dimension where Oriara is. But that's the thing. You're from the dimension of Oriara. Do you think there's any way we can work this in our favor? I, 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 I can't see away with what I have. 
As far as I know, we're stepping into darkness. Just wanted to make sure. Maybe there's something we can do. Even, even at the. I look over at. Uh, I look over at Greco's as we're walking through. I guess you can't see because of my fucking Tonberry looking <laughs> body figure <laughs> at this point. He's 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 also very much taking point. Even at the cost of a sacrifice on my sake. Is there no way we can use time to our advantage? At least for the elemental plane of fire. You, 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 you are always using time as you walk, as you breathe, as you exist. If you wish to change the course of time, that power was left behind when I joined you. But, 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 but I am here and we can fight together. I'll, 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 also, let's not die. I'd rather not be the aspect of the big green one. Could be worse. You could be the aspect of the big bird in the suit. That, 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 that is also fair. And you feel Aos kind of exit your mind. Okay, well, just wanted to explore that option. Yeah, Aos's power when they left uh, Oriara's realm was literally removed from them. So... Fair enough. Hey, listen. I was just like, hmm, could this be explored? If not, oh well. So next thing we find out, Task is the Prince of Persia. There you go. Wait, that's <laughs> not how the story goes. Re do everything from season one all over no, again. I'm, I'm sorry. It's the <laughs> okay. second Prince of Persia, the one with the fighting game and angry music. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, as you proceed forward, the tunnel begins to become not a tunnel. But a building. The walls turn from stone to wood, but not wood, obsidian. And as you proceed forward, you begin to hear and smell brimstone and embers. As you step out, you see a massive landscape, an expanse that is familiar to you, Seika. A floor of darkened brimstone and obsidian scours across the horizon. And there are trees, not made of wood, but vertical shards of obsidian that branch off into various branches. And almost like a strange autumn, instead of leaves or tiny flickering candle flames, a forest of fire and brilliance. And as you step out and look to the structures around, breathing in the air that is dry and hot, but so comfortable for you, Seika, you can tell that everything is different. The land is quiet. You see no people on the streets. The sky is subdued and dark. And the flames that do exist in large torrents are more wicked and whipping as ever. And as you proceed forward and breach over to look upon your homeland, you see this. Kurt, you're breathing into your microphone again. Just... Oh. Oh. oh! oh no! Oh! Oh no! Seika, your heart twists in your stomach. Your head goes light as you sit before your homeland, the primordial phoenix has been corrupted and condemned. Silently, but very heavily, 
Seika drops to his knees and his face is etched into a visage of despair. We, we are too late. Talon on the that? Talon on the shoulder of Seika. That's the phoenix. It is dull. Usually a brilliant color of oranges and reds. Now it sits like a vulture. Darkened hue and manacled around its chest. Floating seals. You don't have to be up close to know that they reek of twisted evil magic. So this is it. The story of the Phoenix is simple. It must die so it can be reborn again. We're not too late. We just have to try harder. You don't understand. It has been corrupted by the Oni's influence. I do not know how to reverse that. Greckles. Oh, Go ahead. No, no, please. Greckles narrows his eyes at this, knowing that what this likely means for his father. He grits his teeth. And he turns to Seika, leans down, and puts both towns on his shoulders. We will find a way. I have seen impossible odds before, and I have seen them through. Despair is exactly what Taimatsu wants. We are not giving up. We did not have the seals in the Earth realm. We do not have the answers here, but we will find them. Grekos is right. We don't have another choice. You watch as the phoenix takes wing with blackened wings. It soars over the cityscape. Find a we place to hide. hide. Yeah. All right, everyone roll stealth checks. <sighs> oh, I'm just rolling so low tonight. <sighs> 24. Here I go. 12. Nine. That's As you guys are like, hide, percent. hide, hide. We gotta hide. You guys kind of look for a place to hide. You breathe a sigh of relief as the phoenix is actually going the opposite way to where you are. Oh. It lands on top of a very large tower and lets out this baleful call. The morphal braying of a bird fallen from grace. It echoes like an air raid siren over the city and the embers lift off the ground for a moment, like a breath. What is our surroundings? Are we seeing corpses? Are we seeing ruined town sheds? Can we find anything on the ground that might indicate what? The city, what? Seika, is untouched, but it is empty. You do not see a single person on the streets. Becca, where would Master Kai be if he were still here? Likely at the temple. Were, were there any safe houses, any underground connections, places to go in case of an emergency like this? An emergency like this has not happened. This Monty the... Oh, an God, open sorry, land. Monty. Are the doors to the homes open? Is is Are things on the street strewn about like there was a massive escape, a massive struggle of some sort? It looks like there was some sort of like attack, but it's not like things were smashed intentionally. Mm-hmm. 
the the building that the phoenix was on that was not the temple or was it that was the temple yes so it's in flames uh actually well, sorry no fair, that one's that one's not fire, the temple so. sorry that one's not the temple you know the temple is a, a similar tower it's actually an extremely tall tower that is from this position uh to the eastern side of the of the inner city you would Still know that standing? Like, uh, yeah as you look uh go ahead and roll a perception check for me okay because there is there is noise here there's 18. embers and smoke okay really nice you look over and you do see a massive tower it is incredibly tall Seka, he may not be there, but there may be answers at the temple, and we don't have a better lead. Can you take us there, please? Uh, of course. We should be alert, though. Of course. One moment. Okay. Uh, I'm going to, if if the party will let me, I'll take ten minutes to ritual cast detect magic. I'm down with oh, that. Please. Oh yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no yeah. One, ain't anyone gonna fight you on that one? Um, while I you do will. that, no, I'm just kidding. While you do that, uh, Greckles is actually going to pull Remy aside. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Uh, I will go with Greckles. Remy, I want you to look after him. It's been a harrowing fight. He came back, and this cannot be any better for him. Remy is going to look you dead in the eye. I'm looking after both of you. I appreciate that, but I think he needs it more than me. You heard what I said. I know. Come this on, gonna... we, have, we have work to do. Focus up. Sorry. Right, right. Okay. I guess uh, if surveying the land while panic ritual cats, if that would be of any benefit, Greckles would be yeah, all over that. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, absolutely. All of you guys, roll investigation checks, actually. Okay. Yahoo. <laughs> 11. Oh, Why you panic? You're, you're casting panic. 24. Yeah, gotcha. Honestly, that that's one. appropriate. Focus yeah. up, Greckles. 24. <laughs> yeah. I got you, Remy. Meanwhile, Seika's just <laughs> cowing uh, the, in the corner. Uh, Mark, that is the most appropriate now. That one. is so appropriate. Hey. I know, it's perfect. I think yeah. it goes without saying that this is like doomsday. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Nope. Shell shock. For, for Seika. Mm hmm. So, as you guys scour around, you do see in the far distance there seems to be a wall, a massive wall constructed encircling this city. It looks unnatural. It looks like it was summoned, this massive, sort of spire like obsidian wall. And it seems to cut off sections of the city in various places. As you look around to your closer location, this is a beautiful city. The ground is this sort of hewn obsidian stone. There are various trees of the same sort of flickering candlelight leaves. The buildings themselves are made of fired tiles and similar such stone and lattice work that is just so impressive. As you search though, the homes are occupied. Hidden inside, you can see shuddering away our fire Ganassi civilians. They're alive. Who's alive? The people. Where? They're still, they're in, in their homes. They're holed up, but they're alive. Seika. Sorry. Sick if there were people alive in their homes. Please. On your feet. He'll stand up. As he you still look, looks Seika, very lost, but he's trying to get it together. As you look, Seika, you do see them. You see in every almost every home, with a few exceptions, a few adult Ganassi and children. There are a couple of children as well. But they seem to be hiding from you. All of you. Seki, you're probably the only one they would recognize. And they are hiding from me. Did There's they something did... we are missing? If I had to place a guess, I'm assuming that Taimatsu knows that we're coming, or even that we're already here. Or the only thing 
that could have happened is that more than the Phoenix was corrupted. Seika well, looks that's... towards the uh, the temple. I suspect if we head there, we may encounter the Oni, but not in a fight. I think we may be expected. Do we wish to try to communicate with the civilians or just leave them? Something is better than nothing. They may Agreed. have information. They may be able to tell us what happened before we got here. At least then we're not going in blind. I will try. You can do this, Hager. Um, He'll move uh, to, I guess, the doorway, the entry point of one of the houses. Okay. Um, and very, very uh, intentionally, um, sort of uh, the traditional uh, welcoming or, or uh, introducing of oneself um, and bow to them um, and request permission to enter. You hear a voice on the other side of the door. Seika-san. An Ignan spoken back to you. Yes. You're alive. I am. As Welcome. you can see, we're barely, when we're alive. Why has everything changed? The hobgoblins were speaking. They said that Taimatsu has reclaimed his pet. That the phoenix is his once again. And the people. His prisoners. But I see no guards. Not yet. You've returned before Kyrfew. You must hurry. Where? To your temple. To your home. Master Kai is still alive. He sealed himself into a chamber. He's abandoned us. Only one of those things do I believe. Thank you. And he'll turn towards the rest of the group. We need to head to the temple. Apparently there is a curfew in place, but Master Kai is still alive. That's all Remy has to hear. Let's Boom. go. Let's go. Done. All right. As you guys begin to move, are you moving stealthily? Are you moving at a moderate pace? Or are you guys running? Let's fucking stealth. Yeah. Or... Yes. Do we move at maybe yeah. a moderate pace? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Better idea. I oh, am yeah. going to cast Pass Without a Trace. I'm down with that Hooray! now. I'm yeah. much better with stealth now. I'm good with stealth. All right. Like Group uh, self my, check. Let's go. My detect magic goes off, so just alert me. Remember, boys, yep. you get a plus 10. When you cast a detect magic, this place oozes of corrupted primordial yeah. magics. Every oh. ember in the sky. You're a giant now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Mm. no hey, you can't auto-fail a skill check, so that's still a 12. No, it's not. Oh, for you, maybe, yeah. No, pass no. without a trace. It's plus 10. Yeah, I but know. Natural but... ones count as two failures. Yeah. Well, let's it's see a group if I can get a check, natural so... 20. Ah! No. That's still pretty good. That's a 32, a 32. though. Yeah. Yeah, 32. As you guys are ducking through the city street, you do see some guards. Hobgoblins, armed to the teeth, wearing crude, uh, best way I can describe it is like somewhat traditional samurai armor, depicting mm -hmm. bronze masks of Oni on the front. Very lazily, <sighs> they peek between roads, but do not manage to see you. Yay. Come nice. on, everyone. Let's keep going. Safe. Seika. Mm-hmm. Roll an athletics check for me. Oh, boy. Oh, God. <laughs> also, also, Monty, is the art still up, perchance? It is, yes. Uh, Should I take it so, down? I uh, just, they can't, I don't think the numbers can be seen on the stream. Yeah, I'll bring it down. 
on, but I'll move the image over so you guys can see the beautiful art. There you go. Sorry, chat. Uh, that's a 10. Okay. That's 10. That's great. All right. Wait, no, so... it's, it's minus it's minus three because you had a long rest. Correct. So it's 11. Oh. Correct. Because we rested. Right. You were resurrected. Yeah. We rested. And then so it's three. Right. Yep. So it's it's uh, 11 then. My bad. As the last you... several rolls should have been plus one. It's cool. As you, your companions begin to move forward, seeing that the coast is clear, all the rest of you hear Seika go, all of a sudden. And as you spin around and turn to look, you see another fire Ganassi currently holding his neck back and has a hand over his mouth and is staring at you. She has a similar presentation to Seika. Her hair, though, the flames, the blue flames that run down her back are straight and is not in a ponytail. It runs down, somewhat short cut at the back. Unlike Seika, who has two sort of, like, horn-like protrusions from his face. Hers has got a single one that kind of goes up and then runs back flat across the top of her head. And she stares directly at you and holds you, Seika. You are grappled as she is holding you currently and staring down at you. Uh, we all saw this? Yeah, yeah, you all turn around and you see this woman currently like grappling, like holding like... Does it... Does it... Is it? Are we able to tell if it is an aggressive grapple to harm or a grapple of "don't talk"? I I don't make any noise. Kind Roll of roll insight check. That I would yeah. Have to do that. Too. Yeah. It's a fourteen. Let's go. Seventeen. Eight. Seventeen. As you look upon this woman, she is wearing not as nice, but very similar garb to Seika. Remy's gonna put out his hands. We are on the same side. Shh. And you feel the hands release, Yuseika. She turns to you. Uh, this is Chio Asabe. She's one of your peers. A fellow monk in the Acolytes of the Phoenix. She kind of peers over around the side. She looks back to you goes, You've grown less vigilant, Seika. I am not my normal self today. It is good to see you, Asabe-san. Good to see you, Seika-san. Master Kai? Alive. She's, gonna look She's definitely keeping an eye out and just making sure you guys aren't being watched or anything like that. The city has been separated and subjugated. As days go by, more and more walls are built up between the people, separating families. What's the end goal with that? Subjugation. Taimatsu has no interest in killing us. He wants us to bend a knee and grovel at his feet. I, I don't mean much. to be that. I don't mean to be that person, but we'd rather I'd rather us have this conversation somewhere where we don't have prying eyes. Why is he so that's a small dragon. She points towards Task. It's, not not right now. I need you to take us to my father. Not right now. This course. is the first time someone acknowledged me as a dragon. <laughs> okay. Does does she? That does was she I'm sorry. That was really good, Gino. I love you. Wait, <laughs> that was does, really good. Is does she treat that nonchalantly when he says that? When he says his father. She does. Yeah, she seems to understand. Or actually, sorry, no, she shouldn't. Um, you're correct. So it's uh, kind of like a tilt of the head, like a what? Does she? Is Greco that said my father. Yeah, she no, kind of. No. Yeah, she will cock her head. Sorry, I'm. Got blind. it. No, you're good. Only I knew about that. Uh, she kind of cocks her head and goes. What? It's very complicated, but if you can take us to Master Kai. Certainly, but we have to be careful. Some of the acolytes of the Phoenix have, have had their arms twisted. They're currently fighting for time out so that they would wish not to be. So we must be quick and stealthy. And I hold my hand out and show her that I'm casting a, a, a sort of silencing spell. Stay close and we have that. Hold yes. a moment. If the corruption runs through our ranks, how do we know that you are with us? Do I, do, I sense, do I sense any energy coming off of her? No. You do sense a similar sort of like key sort of like energy that you get from Seika. It's very subtle, but you do not sense any any anything evil on her. It's kind of hard uh -huh. to tell because there is so much evil shit right now, but for her, yeah, she's not emitting anything evil. I'm not sensing anything from her, Seika. 
If this Tai Natsu would use magic to do such a thing, he's holding families hostage. He's holding individuals hostage. He is using us as a playground for his twisted pleasures, I suppose. So they have their free will. They do. But how much free will do you have when your loved ones are currently being threatened? You misunderstand. It is psychological, not magical. Exactly. But one could argue it is both. Follow me. And she begins to dart off. And she's very fast. Like Seika. She climbs up the side of a building and kind of gestures for you guys to follow her. Yep. Oh, yep. Okay. Follow him. If she's right. close um, enough, she also gets a plus 10. Remember, she will stay, stay close. Stay close to the dragon. I'm for monkey's sake. <laughs> Come back. I got you, Zito. That was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I like this you place avoided, already, sister. You avoided, <laughs> you avoided the hobgoblins because I rolled a four, and that's oh. bad. Ooh. But you did not avoid her visual range. She rolled an 18 plus her bonuses. So. Ooh. I mean, but that she's the one be we better. wanted to run into, so I'm but good yeah, with that. Yeah, that might be in our favor. Yeah. She could have missed you entirely. That would have sucked. Go ahead, everybody, and roll another stealth check for me. Okay. Remy? Go again. 34. Oh, nice. That's gonna be a 22. Oh, as, you guys, as you guys are ducking through the city streets. Sega, what the fuck? 29. I'm injured. <laughs> as you I'm guys are running through... Food. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm, I'm dying. Again. <laughs> I'm dying, Piglet. Um, as you guys are darting through the city streets, you hold your breath as a massive set of wings drifts above you. You all hold your breath and tuck into the side of a building as the phoenix <gasps> mournfully cries and coasts over the sky like a vulture searching for prey. And as the wind becomes silent, Chio gestures for you to follow and you guys continue forward. Uh, can we speak quietly or will that disadvantage our stealth checks? I would say wait. Okay. Because as you guys proceed forward, eventually you make it to the front of the temple. Ooh. It is abandoned. Ooh. There is a beautiful, ornate statue that you remember, Seika. A massive, beautiful, ornate statue of a stone from the material plane that is just shattered to the ground. It'll give it a moment's pause before uh, exchanging glances uh, with Chio and then silently moving on. You guys proceed forward to the front entrance, keeping your eyes up for the phoenix, mournfully calling overhead. As you enter the training ground, Seika, your friends, the people you trained with, five or six of them lie dead on the ground long left in the initial assault. His face will contort for a moment into uh, a bit of an echo of the rage that he had uh, in their previous fight um, before kind of fizzling and fading as he kind of shakes it free and tries to stay focused. You step past the cracked stone, the training grounds, training dummies just left in the dirt as you proceed to the front halls. All of you despite your stealthiest efforts, can't help but feel watched as you enter through the front door of the Temple of the Acolytes of the Phoenix. And that's where we're going to take a break. Oh! <laughs> Sorry about the breathing thing, I guess. Yeah, I, I, I'm I, good. I, I don't know. I, it, it, maybe my mic's auto-adjusting or something, because I thought turn it was on, far away. Yeah, turn on your noise gate or something. Yeah, right? or just the opt the, 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 uh, the noise reduction. If it's at like 90, put it at like 85 or 80. I'm gonna go also, take a visit to the little goes without room, saying, so. art by that art jack. Yeah. 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 Well well done, that Freaking art jack. Terrifying. Jackual Dope. Kaiser. Did you, Monty, did you full screen the, the art for the I jack? did. Yes, did. I did. Yeah. Oh, 
So um, hi, Chad. Welcome into the Bosco Halftime Show. How's it going? Good to have you all here. Man, that was clutch. I'd like to spend a, send a special shout-out to Theropod, uh, who cannot skip this particular halftime show because it is live. <laughs> I'm going to go feed my cat. <laughs> yeah, go do it. I'm going to make a cup of tea. Um, yeah, uh, so shout out again to the Discord. I see you lounge. I hope you're enjoying the show. If you are not part of the Unexpectables Discord, what are you doing? There are awesome channels there where you can follow all of the shows on this channel. Twitch.tv slash The Unexpectables. There's this show on Wednesdays, and then every Saturday we rotate shows. So this coming Saturday, as long as my math isn't wrong, we're going to be having the Prince Division, where Connor and I team up with uh, Sarah Williams and Arkov as uh, basically fantasy modern private eyes. That's a that's a hoo hoo funny good time, as Monty would like to say. And then you want to really change it up. A Sunday or a Saturday after that. Connor hops into the DM chair for Gateway, a Fallout D&D system created by Lanny Pator, who's also one of the players. So you should definitely check that out as well. Connor does a phenomenal job. But yeah, join the just Discord. Join the lounge. Hang out. Thank you to everybody who popped by on Monday. Also, Burnout, I'm glad you fixed the mic problem. Uh, we got Marcus Otero with 1,500 bits. Cue that sad Naruto string music. It's the top of the fourth. Base is loaded. All the team's got to do is knock it out of the part, and that's the game. D play. Hooray. Thank you for the one, two, three, four, five hundred bits. Actually, Mark, is funny story. A buddy of mine linked a, uh, a Japanese baseball game. I think it was Japanese. It might have been Korean. I wasn't 100% sure, so I apologize. Asian baseball game. And uh, the announcers uh, jumped into English, and... Uh, <laughs> It's one of the funny. Is this a ball? Is the love of God and the ex-girlfriend? Come on! I didn't hear any of that because you guys overlapped real hard. It's so good. Sorry, Bosco. I took your thunder. You do it. No, that's fine. I like how you did it from the other room feeding your cat. You couldn't. I had to. I ran. I was like, I know. You're like, no. I know the reference. Magic, thank you for the 100 bits. So we're gone from Gmod Flatgrass to Minecrafter Nether. Yeah. I will take your word for it. I don't know what that means. Oh, uh, 100 bits. By the way, uh, Gaijin and uh, Mark, are you still here? Probably not. That could, good. He can't hear the compliment. Fucking amazing acting in that last little bit. That was really, really well done. I mean, I don't feel like I said all that much yet. You know what? Fine, don't take the compliment. Whatever, you fucking suck. Hey, Mark, hey, you did great. I accept the compliment. I just don't think I talked very much. Yeah. Sergeant Tucker with a hundred bits of the Oni's minions. Poor Jimmy was the last one to go. That's the that's then Borky walked up to him, pulled a Jimmy's skull out of his head, and beat him to death yeah. with it. Yeah. But how do you beat someone to death with their own skull? Question this mark. Doesn't, this doesn't, doesn't seem physically, physically possible. possible. And that's what Jimmy kept screaming. That's what Hellfang, Jimmy kept thank screaming. <laughs> Hellfang, thank you for the 500 bits. I'm sorry, I thought this was a fantasy-based D&D campaign. Why are we dealing with forbidden siren levels of horror? Because variety is fun. The Chibi Wolf, thank you for the 300 bits. Distant attack on Titan music. Oh, yeah. That was Korean. Thank you, Doppel. Appreciate it. I'm back. Uh, Asian baseball. Zan, thank you for the bits. Great session. I would agree. Came back to Monty and Bosco screaming at each other. Didn't underestimate a word. Didn't understand a word of it. So, all right. This time I'm going to do it without Monty screaming over me. There is a Korean baseball highlight of a home run where the announcers switch to English. And so he hits the ball and they go, home run. That ball is long gone like the X. Girlfriend who will never return. Home run. The best. It's so it's good. It's hard to truly overstate his elation in his voice. Yeah, He's it's so happy. good. Volk with 100 bits. I was expecting Seika to do Oscar Proud running to the Hobgoblins to fight them. Um, He just died. He's not ready to do it again. Yeah. Also, I complimented you, but you missed it. So oh, take that with sorry. you. We did no. a good job. Yeah, oh. Gaijin thought you did a good job. Well, thank you. Yeah. I yeah, think yeah. you did a good job, too. Thank I you. Did. See? I haven't said much yet, but we'll Shut wait. Shut 
We'll see oh. when I we'll see when I see my father. You, oh man, you that's going to be shining such a, example I am of a so leader excited. in a time of crisis. That was every, every everybody except Seika better be super hush hush. I hope I mean, your father is like. I mean, I'm I'm gonna give you the Remy stare, but I ain't gonna say shit. I'm just gonna hit that mute button right there, hit, smash that subscribe button, and we'll be good. I, uh, I snake. Thank you for the hundred bits. Uh, I know it's a giant phoenix, but all I see is Rodan from King oh, of Monsters. Good pull. Mm. Nice. Uh, Zen Lita with 300 bits. I'd make a pun for Legacy of Kane, but I'm not able to think of one right now. That's fair. No worries. Uh, Blackfoot Ferret with the 420 memes. Memes in stereo. Uh, Spevakin, thank you for the 500 bits. Well, this is fairly dire. Can't wait to see the gang set things right and beat up Shao Kahn. Uh, Philip Cantor with 400 bits. Big ups to Monty for being in NG. Uh, and also, being a fellow pyro, Uncle Dane would be proud, and don't let spy mains judge you. I'm gonna judge the fuck out of you. I mean, fair. Uh, Solar Fire, thank you for the bits. Simple, but dens with info. Uh, we got Blue Mage with 400 bits. I've watched from one episode, from episode one, finally watching live. This is amazing! Goomba, my dude. Yeah. You just get better and better. Have faith Aww. in yourself. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to throw bits and subs at us, remember to uh, throw praise at Gaijin so that it doesn't Aww. just come from me. Because uh, he tunes me out a lot, and I, I don't blame him. It's bullshit! Uh, Entity Walker <laughs> with some bits saying, no! Hey, listen, I like Cryo Chamber. Are you playing one of their labels as the background music? I believe most of the background music comes from Kevin McLeod. I know there's yeah. one other poll that Monty has. But it's all available for free on Roll20. So anything that you hear in the game is using the Roll20 thing, unless Monty specifically says that she has custom made something or had it made. Um, it's typically all in there. So yeah, just happy searching. Also, Bosco, how many times, like for hours on end late at night, do we just sit around and talk? And I take everything you say very, very seriously. Oh, I know. You do. And then I have to remind you of it in three days when you decide that you're not going to believe it anymore. Uh, no my pain, Bosco. Yeah. <laughs> Def Defective Sheep, thank you for the 10 tier 1 subs gifted to the community. Sergeant Tucker took me so long for that uh, red versus blue quote. 100 bits. Solid pull. Mm -hmm. uh, Caleb, thank you for the, the 100 bits. The largest and therefore strongest bone in the Epi body. <laughs> Episode title suggestion, Shadow of the Phoenix. On the list. Uh, thank you for the 100 bits. Losume just wanted to say thank you to everyone on Gateway for making a wonderful show. Currently watching the VODs on the one where there's a tribe who worship golf. Yep, Gateway, The that is the Connor Run show every other Saturday, 7 o'clock p.m. PST. It is Connor is DM, Lanny's in it, Caitlin Elizabeth's in it, Sarah pulls double duty, she is in it. Oh. All I know hey, about Mr. Gateway. Rabbit is in it. It is a great group. I highly recommend it. Definitely check them out. All I know about Gateway is Sephiroach, and I want a plush of Sephiroach. Sephiroach. <laughs> uh, Bandy, thank you for the 500 bits. As a Korean, I can tell you it's not Korean. It's Chinese. Okay, see, this is why I said yeah. Asian baseball game. I don't know the languages I, at all. I don't. Yeah, it was, it was a Chinese baseball game. There we go. Thank you. That's the third time I've been corrected. Somebody who knows better than me, tell me what truth is. I really wish I knew Korean, because like when it comes to Korean shoutcasters for anything, they're always the best. Yeah. They're they, they like, got energy for days. Watching watching like back when I used to watch Dota 2, but like Dota watching Dota 2 with the English commentary was a hundred times different than watching Dota 2 with the Korean commentary. And the Korean commentary I didn't know what they were saying, but it was a thousand times better. Because <laughs> uh, they were just like they were so in it. And it's that's so how great. soccer is. If you listen to like the, the Spanish announced team versus the English guys, sometimes the English guys get up there, but like the Spanish boys are just going bonkers. They have remember, energy for eons. They do. I remember yeah. I remember like seeing this thing where it's like I'm watching the Olympics right now. And uh, it's the British commentary on the Olympics. Yeah. And the camera just zoomed into the Japanese soccer coach. And one of the announcers went, oh, my God, he looks like a math teacher. I'm scared of him. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, oh, because okay. yeah. apparently the guy looked very serious. And, like very. Like oh. it. That's solid. Yeah, that's a good poll. Uh, Manic Scarecrow, thank you for the 1500 bits. Long story short. Corporate screwed up my raise and just got the back pay. Super excited oh. to see where this goes. Well, oh congratulations on your bonus. Hell yeah. 
Uh, let's see. We got a couple more left. Connor, are you back? Yeah. Okay, give I'm me ready. two more. I'm ready to go. Uh, oh, God, ah. Yeah. Zen Litta with 200 bits. Hey, Bosco, can you do that baseball meme again, but with more acting? Yes, I can, but not right <laughs> now. Probate with ten, that's a that's a reference to. I know it was so Arcadum. cute. You oh, know man. you know what they meant, but it was. I like, know what oh. they meant, but they were like uh, one more to because it was a Korean client and they were directing me on a voiceover gig and they I did a take and they were like, uh, really good, but can you do it one more time with more acting? <laughs> and like I felt so bad because I knew what they and then when I started doing it right, they were like, oh, that must be what he he understands. Cool, could you act more? And they would just find different ways to say it. And it was hysterical because I knew they weren't being mean. Uh, and the last bit drop is probate with 10,000 bits. Wow! Yep. Uh, What's a Mexican cat's favorite snack? Roast mouse tostada. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, Citra, hey, Citra wow. can, can you confirm? We'll get back to you. But that'll be How easy to remember. How long have you been sitting on that one? Yeah, probate is the last bit drop, Connor, for when you do stuff at the end. Gotcha. All right. Be a nice bookmark. All right. All right. Let's get back to it. What's up? <gasps> uh, also, Monty, real quick. Somebody asked the music that you're playing right now. Could you give oh, them? All, is this Kevin McLeod? This is all Kevin McLeod. Yeah. Okay. Do you know what the name of the song is, perchance? This is Industrious Ferret. There you go. And that's Shout on Roll Twenty. Ferret, you can probably find it on YouTube. That really work. That really works for the for the for the for the melody. Mhm. Mm it's very simple. Well, I'm hoping to get a custom song at some point, but Industrious Ferret is pretty good. It actually is the theme song I picked for Zobby, actually. Okay. So. Yeah. Back to the spookies. As you enter through the front doors, immediately as you enter, the double doors are slammed shut. As Chio turns to you and goes, Good. We should be safe. For now. Seika-san. Yes. No, Kiriyami-san. Apologies. Are you okay? He kind of takes a breath. And you guys will see him try really hard before eventually kind of settling back into that sort of officious version of himself that you guys first met. I am fine. What is our status? <laughs> Not good. You hear footsteps round the corner and you see as two more fire ganasi, uh, two male fire ganasi turn around the corner they are students, maybe a bit younger. Um, I would say, best way to describe it, maybe a rank down from you. Mm. They kind of both approach and then stop immediately and turn. <sighs> Kuyama-sama, you're safe. I am. Master Kai has awaited your return. His son? He mentioned something about Kenku's arriving. And they turn and they see Remy. That must be him. And they kind of turn towards Remy. Oh boy. Okay. That is incorrect. That's This awkward. is Master Kai's son. Thank and you. he'll uh, hold a hand out uh, indicating Greckles. And Greckles will step forward and, and bow very deeply. Uh, uh, they kind of exchange looks. Not like in a who's this weirdo, but more like okay, now we this is this this is the stage where we're at in this event in our lives. Chio kind of turns and goes. Master Kai has instructed us that only his son may enter the sealed chamber. Oh. We There's must insist on accompanying him at least into the entrance point. Certainly. She she turns. Um, respectfully, Kuriyama-san, who are these people? Greckles will actually step forward with that. These are my companions. No, they're my family. And they've been with me through 
everything that I've ever been through, and I would gladly lay down my life for all of them. Understood. She kind of turns, and she she's mostly caught on Borky. <laughs> As you do. That happens. <laughs> mm. <sighs> of course she is. She kind of like, like, cause I imagine in my head that the the, the um, frost animator cowl is like not big enough for his shoulders, so it doesn't even like. He's got like this tight, like only it only covers the nips kind of shirt. Yeah, it's like, it's a, like a weird dress. crop top. Like, honestly, Borky looks like he's kind of wearing pretty much a JoJo outfit that was clearly not designed for him. On top of him. <laughs> so, uh, can can Remy approach Greckles real quick before he takes off? Uh, he'd wait. He's just gonna put a hand on your shoulder. Are you ready? No, but I wasn't ready for any of this. And we've made it through. It's a good answer. Good luck. Thanks. Uh, panic will stop Greckles before he goes in. Yeah. Hey. I'm not sure what to expect in there. We can't come with you. But uh, I'm happy that you're finally getting to meet your father. Me too. I just wish it was under different circumstances. I bet. Uh, Being, uh, estranged parents have a way of uh, finding themselves at the center of earth-shattering events, apparently. But uh, <clears throat> if you need anything in there, and I'll slip him the orb of sending. Let me know. I appreciate it. Hopefully I won't need this, but... Yeah, no. I appreciate it. If you do, we'll bust down the doors. He watches Chio just kind of like raises a finger and then just like... It's like a mixture of please don't destroy the property, but also like you're more important than us. We can't really stop you. <laughs> <laughs> Panic, Panic gives her a nod of like, I know. <laughs> I know she, like, them, you nod at her, and she's like, doesn't understand it at all, and she just tries to replicate it back, and, like, looks towards you, Seika, like, these people, like, she's so confused. You are Chio Asabe? Yes. And she kind of bows her head. Hmm. asabe -san. I've been, I've been put in the stead of Kuriyama-san in his absence. Asabe-san, I want you to understand, my companions may look or even sound strange, but they are great warriors. Should I... anything happen while I'm with my father, please allow yourself to rely on them. Certainly. I apologize for my lack of, if it seems I have, I'm showing a lack of respect, their ways, and she kind of looks over at Borky, who's like kind of scratching his butt or whatever, uh... are different to us, and I, um, of course, and she kind of nods. If there has been anything that I've learned, it's that it is the differences of my companions that make us all strong and whole. I will go see my father. Seika, you lead him? Mm-hmm. As you walk through these corridors, you're home. I'm gonna ask everybody but Mark and Gaijin to mute their microphones, please. As you walk through these corridors of your home, tapestries have been torn. Cracks in the floor where weapons have hit. You pass through sacred hallways where you see darts and shurikens scattered across the walls. It was that proceed. bad. Proceed. No, go ahead. Oh, sorry. I was just making no, commentary. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. It really was that bad. It seems so. I promise you. These halls are beautiful. I could imagine it. I really could. He just. As you walk. Mm hmm. As you oh, guys turn a corner, you enter a large hallway. 
the feeling of it is as if it would lead to a throne room. You know that behind this door is not a throne room, Seika, but the inner chambers of Grandmaster Kai's personal study and home. Um, as you uh, and Seika reach the doors, uh, he stops. Uh, he bows once towards you, uh, drops down into full Seiza, and bows to the door, and uh, turns away and remains in Seiza. He doesn't say anything. You've done wonderful to bring me here, Seika. I don't want you. I don't want you to ever forget that. He only nods in response. You can tell he is. He, there's. He's standing on on formality because he doesn't know that he's going to keep it together otherwise. Right. Greckles will take a very, very deep bow to the door, not knowing what is on the other side. And he'll step through. Mark, if you could mi mute your microphone, please. As the doors close behind you, Greckles, you step forward in a beautiful chamber. The floors are obsidian or marble. They're beautiful, framed in deep, rich, auburny gold. There are massive pillars with coiling depictions of gold dragons adorned. The ceiling is tall, with a massive carving of a phoenix twisting around to the rooftop. And before you, you see a blazing fire in a gold and stone encrusted holding place. It is silent. There is no crackling, no pops. It simply is. And there is a form. It's back facing you, facing towards the fire. Greckles will immediately get down on knee on both knees, hands to the floor, and head bowed so far it is touching the ground. And he just simply says, Chichiwe, I have returned. You hear a tapping noise and see a talent hand place incense into a bowl next to him. And you hear a voice speak out in the chamber. I see you've picked up on some of Seiko's habits. Do you do so to appease me or to betray your humble nature? Father, for the longest time, I believed my nature to be dishonorable. I've run from combat. I've stolen. I wasn't even sure if I could bear to actually meet you, knowing who you are and who I am. Stand up. Tobi Kage Toriotoko. And he does. He watches the form rises to his feet. He is tall. He is probably a good three inches off of Borky. Oh, jeez. And as he turns his head to face you, you see this person. A familiar person to you. Uh, 
That's so cool. He steps forward to you and stops. You see before you the Phoenix Kinku that you saw in your vision with lies. Adorned in the most beautiful of silks and clothing. His feathers are red and orange with yellow cresting at the top. A massive long blade held in his off hand and a mask adorned on his face. You've journeyed quite a way to get here, haven't you? We've been fighting the Oni Menace and the other elemental planes. Seika has done his job above and beyond. He should be credited for such. Seika-san is reliable, and I am proud of him. But I must confess something to you. I have lied to you. I have lied to bring you here. How do you mean, father? Tobikage, I am not your father. Mm. He just continues to his his glaze or his gaze glances away for a moment, but then you snaps feel a back. Hand, hand actually gently kind of touch your shoulder and grip, not harshly but just comfortingly. But I knew your father. He kind of laughs under his breath. You see him shake his head. <laughs> Hero was... He kind of nods. I believe in the material plane, we called them a wild card. <laughs> Hero? That was his name. Toritoko Hiro was your father's name. And my best friend's name. You are, and he steps back. <sighs> so much like him in so many ways. It's so different in so many other ways. My friends have tempered me strong. Where I was wild and a bit uncontrolled. They've brought me into a place of peace and focus. He sighs. And your hate. The yes. nature of your scorned outcast. What now as you stand before me does that mean to you? My hatred is a dark fire that had burned in me for all of my life as I struggled to find my way. Growing up not knowing anything, finding my way to the Tengu, being thrown out by Futenbo, there has been much for that dark fire to burn through. But I stand before you now, focused in my goal. It matters not whose son I actually am. I am here to save this realm, as my companions and I have saved every other realm coming here. I see the great phoenix in chains. I saw how much it disturbed Seika. But I am unshaken. 
you feel as he just like chops your forehead, just like bang with his hand immediately. And it comes out of nowhere and you're like, ah, as uh-huh. he just like snaps immediately. And it's so fast. Like you don't even see it. It's like a single frame that just suddenly there's a hand on your forehead and you're like, ah. Ah, <laughs> oh, you are just like your mother. What was she like? She, and he kind of strides over. He turns, he goes, do you like something to drink? Uh, yes, please. That would be delightful. Greckles, he says. The name rings a bit more respected on his tongue. Mm. I understand that Seika has probably told you much about me and my nature, but you and I are more like than any other. I may not be your father, but you and I and your father had similar beginnings. And you hear the sound of pouring tea as he hands you a cup and offers a place for you to sit next to him. Thank you. Please go on. I await with bated breath. (laughs) A long time ago, before you were even (laughs) a dream in your parents' mind, the elemental plane of fire invaded the material realm. They Hmm. laid siege to our home. Very unexpected. Not really. I'm surprised that Seika-san did not mention this to you. The Emperor at the time, knowing to keep balance with the other primordial planes, cast his eyes of conquest on us. They emerged from the Kamuri Mountains and seized villages or simply burnt them to the ground. Your father, (laughs) he laughs again, your father was a brigand, a thief, a con man, a ladies man. Well, I almost fit that to a T. When his home was threatened and he fled in the battle, that took his home, he was outcast and scorned. I found him. We had another traveling companion with us as well. Uh, Though Junbei wasn't much for conversation. He swore that he would return to his village. And whether or not they accepted him, he wanted to see the evil cast out. And we traveled for years, striking down corrupted fire elementals and eventually taking the fight to here, the elemental plane of fire, where we met our fourth companion, Ash. He was the prince and only son to the corrupted emperor. And we thought to see fit to kill him, me and Junbei. Your father did something much more impressive. Do you know what he did? I do not. He smiles. All of us had our pride, Junbei and myself, but your father, one would say he had an open mind. Your father befriended him. Befriended when the had, emperor? No, his son. Ah. Uh. Hmm. He changed him. And in the final battle, and you see Master Kai kind of lean back, we lost him. Prince Ash died, leaving no crown prince for the throne and an elemental plane lying in ruins. 
On his deathbed, he offered it to your father. And your father, he kind of leans forward, mm -hmm. had the chance to be a master of a realm. And he kind of looks, this power for someone so scorned would be the most perfect thing for him. And you know what he did, Greckles. He turned it down. There was a peasant girl in that small village of nobodies that he loved. And he went back and you watch as he kind of reaches out and he kind of ruffles your head mm -hmm. and you were born. Wow. But then I had a vision. A dream that came to me. Of your parents gone. Roll an insight check. Okay. And? <laughs> Whenever he talks about your father, there's an extra layer of pain and memory and feeling. You get the sense. Mm -hmm. You were in trouble. I could not change fate. And your father fought to the very end. But you had a future ahead of you. And I wished to ensure it, but I could not get too close. I was instructed to do so. As you grew up, you approached the Tengu again. <laughs> bold like your father he kind of gives you this tilt of the head which just really is like man you really take after your dad <laughs> like they were someone i felt i could relate to a little bit more more so than the people of the town that's for certain and that's where i was losing you though that may be true When I consulted, no, it is time. You watch as Master Kai takes off the mask. And underneath, he looks like this. Actually, I'll show that later. As he takes off the mask, you feel a whisper in the back of your feathers. As he places the mask on the ground, you watch as rising up comes this creature. You hear a voice into your mind. Getting here was quite a feat. I am glad, Greckles, we at last can meet. I am most honored. If I may, what is your name? I am Kai. This... And you watch as the head turns. Like you, is an ordinary guy. And you hear as Master Kai kind of <laughs> scoffs. He turns down. A second lie, I suppose. My name is not Kai. This is Kai. My name is Ryusei Ito. This is 
so much to take in. Oh my. Kai has followed you since the day before your hatching, guiding me on your future. There was a great deal of nervousness when you began to interact with the Tengu. I thought it might be good for you to make you a stronger warrior. But Kai warned that it would make you a worse person. I had many meetings with Futembo, as he is, was, my messenger of the material plane. Mm. Greckles, I am old, and I am not getting any younger. Words of an heir circulated. And when Futembo learned that you were to inherit my mask, he cast you away. I suppose that makes sense. I just wish I knew better. I wish I could have I understood. I wanted to bring you back. <laughs> Perhaps in some pale attempt to maintain a memory of an old friend. But he turns down to the aspect that is just perched on the ground and just stares at you, Greckles. Mm -hmm. Greckles. Yes. It was not the pain of being cast out that makes you who you are right now. It was the love, the friendship, and the family that you made all your own that has made you worthy to be who you are, whether you are Tobikage or whether you are Greckles. I see that now. It's been a long, long journey. But it and is not yet over. There is still something that needs to be done. I'm ready for it. He reaches down and picks up Kai, the mask, and offers it to you. He looks hard at Kai, still trying to process everything that's been told to him. And he takes do not, it. Do not wear it. Carry it with you. When you are truly worthy, you will know. I understand. You watch as he kind of reaches up and kind of touches the side of your cheek. And you see him kind of, his, his face goes really sort of pained but sad. It's sort of a mixed feeling. And he just hugs you. I give him the biggest old hug back because he's the closest thing that I have to my father. <laughs> Do you say, for all it's worth, you've done everything for me. And I can almost hear my father through you. <sighs> Elan leans forward and goes, I was very jealous of your mother. He he kinda he kinda blinks and uh does does a quick head tilt back and then and then back forward. I wish he I could just have sips, seen her. He sips his tea and looks at you. I wish I could have known her. Mm. But it's as you say, there is a journey still and much to do here. Go to your friends. Speak with them. Should I speak with them about everything? If you wish. 
And before you leave, tell Seika to enter this chamber. I shall. He nods towards you. He he gives a just massive bow. He reaches down and kind of like flicks you on the beak and goes, enough of that. Sorry. Ah. <sighs> just so much and I cannot be more appreciative of you my father my mother Junbei Ash all of them don't thank Junbei he just like shakes his head and just grimaces understood but thank you for all of this for getting real answers about my life thank you With that, uh, he will start to make his way back out, and he'll tuck he'll tuck Kai uh, closest to him as possible underneath his robes. Time has passed, and time has ended. It is a pleasure to meet you, my new friend. An absolute pleasure to meet you too, Kai. Uh, he just kind of shakes his head. And he's, he's smiling, though. He is all smiles. As the double doors <coughs> open up, you see a smiling Greckles emerge, Seika, as you're still in that position that you have not left. Beautiful as always. Hey, Greg, how's it going? No, you guys aren't there. This is Seika. Oh, quite you, guys the up there. you guys are in the lobby. You guys are in the lobby <laughs> hanging out with the weird monks who think you're weirdos, but like are respecting you. It's kind of weird. You watch as like uh, as Chio is just like, and the water touches the land. It does, but Dad, if it's cold, it turns to ice. What is ice? A really big ass problem if you're naked. Has right. Pulled the she looks narrow. She looks at you, Borky, and goes, So for you, then? Yeah. Wait, no! Greckles and Seika. <sighs> Cut back to you guys. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> Kurama son. Yes, Denka. He just gives you a big old hug. As soon as you stand up, just a big old hug. I. He's kind of like looking nervously back and forth between the closed door and you. As you look, the door is still kind of partially open and you just see leaning to look at you is Master Kai without wearing his mask, just kind of looking and giving you a glance as you're being oh. hugged by Greckles. Oh no. <laughs> he wishes to speak with you, but don't worry, it's nothing bad. I assume maybe it's a debriefing of sorts. There was a lot that was said. I understand. Do you wish for directions back to the rest of the party? Uh, if you don't mind. I, I may not know my way around here well just yet. Very well. Um, traverse these halls carefully, please. And he'll kind of give him sort of the reverse route back to the, the main lobby. Understood. Thank you so much, Seika. By the way, he's... Starting to call you by first name and no suffix. I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> that is why he was so awkward about it. Yep. It wasn't just the hug. All right. Well, Grex is making his way. Okay. Seika, as you enter, you see, because I have the artwork, I'm going to use it. The unmasked Master Kai. Um, this is not the first time I've seen him without the mask. Is no, it? okay. it's very uncommon, but this is not the first time. Right. Um, <laughs> I will bow and close the door behind me as I enter. <sighs> the door closes. It is not good, Seika-san. Master? The state of things. Uh, it, yes. He stands up and he walks towards you. 
and he puts two firm hands on either shoulder and shakes you like a like a father. You have done well. Have I? And he I kind of see. like momentarily looks like to what Master Kai would be a memory of him as a child. Master Kai lets you lead forward and lets you rest your head on his chest. Seika san, what have you learned? Traveling through the plains. Traveling with these strangers. I have learned. I have learned that I am often not enough to combat my own problems, but that it is okay to rely on the help of others. I have learned that our land being even as open as we thought was still closed, that there are reeds that are meant to bend where we would have broken them, that connections need to be made And I have learned that perhaps, and he kind of stumbles for a second, perhaps we rely on tradition a bit too much. You feel the hand squeeze on your shoulder as you're pulled back and you look up and you see a smiling Master Kai. That hug told me as much, and he gives you a wink. Yes, Denka is very affectionate at times. That is what friends do. He is not your Denka. I don't understand. Tobikage-san was never my son, Seika. What? Then no. He is as mundane as the common man. But you saw him, didn't you? You saw him fight. You, he, you see an image in your head, Seika, of Greckles leaping through the air, striking down on the false Rantulas. You saw him strive. You see him swimming out of the way of the water. You saw his heart as you come back from death, the feeling of Greckles hugging you and crying. And Master Kai looks at you. Seika san, no one is small. No one. Do you understand that now? He looks up very slowly as sort of everything that has happened kind of rushes through his mind's eye um, and his face kind of relaxes from the confused expression he had for a moment. I think so. I admit that is a difficult way to get that lesson across, Master. But would you have learned if I had simply told you? Likely no. He kind of puts a hand on your shoulder and goes, Then it, my lesson has been a success. Also, he kind of leans forward and smiles. Ruse. I... Master Ruse is my true name.
this is really confusing for you, Seika. Yeah. This is like, wait, what? <laughs> like, wait, huh? <laughs> he laughs and he kind of claps and pats your shoulder twice. Go to your friends. I will be with you all shortly. I feel you have much to discuss. Yes, uh, of course, Master Ryusei. And kind of... as for Taimatsu and the Phoenix, I have a plan. I am beyond relieved to hear that, Master. And if we survive, you and I will have much to discuss. He will simply bow uh, and let himself out and head back to the rest of the group. All right. Greckles, as this conversation is happening, you make your way back, and the rest of you guys can unmute your microphones. You make your way back to the rest of your companions and their party. So that what happens is, is that the air makes water to fall onto the earth that washes yeah. away the fire. Yeah, I know. So, no, is this is this a calculus or is this a, a Fahrenheit, a Fahrenheit, a Fahrenheit uh, area? We can't even pronounce Fahrenheit. I can barely do it. Um, I'm just gonna lean up on the doorway. <laughs> yes, but I understand water. But how does the air and the water cause fire through the form of lightning? Because the heat makes the water become air. Freckles! Oh, no, no, no. Don't, don't uh -huh. stop on my account. Do go on. No. Uh -huh. he, he, he was just sitting on the floor <laughs> looking for an excuse to not participate. <laughs> Freckles, he, he sort of uh, jogs over to you. Uh, how'd it go? Did you meet your dad? Yeah. In a way, I did. So, in a way, kind of a long story, but um, I have a new companion. You guys watch now as the mask correlates and becomes the physical form of Kai. Before you, everyone, Ooh. this is Kai. Panic. Uh, pa yeah, Penny you, clutches you, his chest. You hear a voice in your head go, Dust drifting directionless divine. And you feel a shunting feeling as if physically manifests next to you. Oh, that was what oh, I was feeling. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what? Task. Yes. A similar sensation. Well, 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 this just got interesting as a similar sort of feeling as. Aos appears right next to you. Weirder for Task, because Aos is around the same size as Task. <laughs> I sort of, I, I sort of like, I sort of fall to one knee and catch my breath. Oh, okay. That was strange. That's been if, this whole day. What's happening? If you're a real boy now, or whatever you are. Big old this family is, reunion, huh? This is similar to, like, the forms that they take in other planes. They don't yeah, do it in like, the material plane, though. Like when I almost died. Yeah. Fun. Uh, I'll, I'll sort of... I'll sort of reach down and I'll, I'll pick up Ith and I'll hold him in one hand. And I'll hold him as in you, one arm. As you go to pick up Ith, your hands just whoo, phase through him and you're like, huh? Ah, fuck! I just face plant. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. uh. You watch as Kai turns up to you, uh, Greckles, and goes, Your friends are odd, but rather charming. I can't wait to see how good they are at harming. Oh, okay. really? Borky just knocks oh, over good. an ancient vase. Psh, that's my bad. That was an accident. <laughs> I, it's fine, Master Borkathon, as you've said. Um, yes. I will sweep wait, this wait. up. Wait, wait. Borkathon? Silence, Greckles. I get this. Oh. <sighs> Seems I'm gonna have to learn some rhymes of my own. Yeah, I see the uh, the the pattern is continuing. As for harm, oh, we've done plenty of that, and then some. <laughs> Three down, one to go. 
are are the are the three like talking interacting i'm super the, curious to hear it's them. really strange you can see them cocking their heads and tilting as if there's a conversation happening but none of you guys can hear anything huh oh. it's like watching a does, ghost through a fucking mirror in a horror film do does it look like that does it look like anybody else around us is seeing this except for the three of us just all of you do uh, it doesn't seem like okay. the monks can see it they seem distracted by the destruction that Borky has caused. Um, but and as they but Borky, kinda... and, Borky and Remy can see it, though? Borky and Remy can see it, yeah. Holy shit. That means you're a main character, Remy. <laughs> Interesting. Yo, Bosco scowl from here. <laughs> Sizzles and pops. Bosco! Is Bosco even here? Yeah, I'm here. I'm scowling. He's just I'm, you <laughs> <laughs> I'm glaring at you, Zito, but you can't see it. No, but I can feel it in spirit. <laughs> it's interesting. I I met with Oh, it's so confusing. There was there was Kai and then the then Kai was this and then there's Yusei and and there's my father, Hiro, and Junbei, and Ash, and... Oh, it's such a long story. Well, despite Wait, all the your father is your father is Hiro? I, I, what? That was my father's name, Panic. Was. What happened? Wait, so this, this dude isn't even your dad? No. It, uh, well... That asshole spider was at least a small percentile correct. My real father, uh, Toritoko Hiro. Apparently, I was just like him in every way, save one. Thinks back to all of the bad, <laughs> bad attempts at relationships. Mm. Oh, and I could say, like, getting eaten, and I would have just had, like, master, like, dun, like, dun, 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 I'd have dun, Grandmaster dun, Kai be like, no, your father also got ate a lot. It was kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> this is well, the I'm tale of Hero and the Toad. No, this is an ancient tribe. Remember, your children would be eaten all the day. Fuck them. I don't care. That's their problem. <laughs> it it was it it was odd. The the I'm on the plane of fire actually attacked the material. And my father and Nyuse and Junbei, they they fought back and they fought all the way back here. And then they met the crown prince, the actual crown prince, Ash. And where they wanted to fight, my father sought diplomacy and befriended Ash. But upon Ash's deathbed, he asked my father to take up the crown as there was no one else to lead after some horrible rampant corruption that had taken place. And so... Do you say passed it off to me? Pask holds his hand up just like just like to say like slow down a second. Yeah, I know it's a lot to take in. I'm still processing it. Oh no, despite all of Wait. the convolution, despite all of that, I have a very important question to ask you. Mm -hmm. Has this resolution made your soul lighter? Has it God? <laughs> That's for you to decide. That's for you, oh, I, dude. I think, I think what Task is trying to say is, are you satisfied with this? I am satisfied with the knowledge of the past, but I worry about the future, and I cannot allow myself to get distracted. We have a job to do here, gentlemen, and we're going to see it through. Well, you I'm got fine. five schmucks standing next to you from the plane, uh, from the material plane with you, and we just took down three out of four Oni. I say Which, we're well in the present. Which, I'm not gonna lie. Apparently, that's like a big deal. It's incredible. <laughs> One of the monks says, like half listening, like they're kind of half listening to the conversation, but being polite. Um, Don't touch me. Can they? Can, <laughs> can they? <laughs> the hand away. Can can they? Uh, can they see? The, can they see Kai, like, just as mask form? No, they can't oh. see them at all. Wow. Um, as, by the way, as they're, you guys are having your own conversation, there seems to be its own, there's own separate conversation happening between the aspects. At one point, Task, you hear uh, Aos's voice chime in and go, I, I, I hate this guy, he's so pretentious. Task, like, stops midway the conversation, turns over and looks at Aos. <clears throat> 
Just like a fucking chuckle, he like holds his mouth, like, yeah. You, 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 you're not helping. And you watch as they oh, turn back and continue the conversation. Oh, this I know. A this Aos guy has a fucking attitude problem. Why do you think it's Tass' aspects? <laughs> <laughs> um, Monty, I would like to try, well, okay, so are, th are the monks just kind of whispering to themselves? They're just kind of like on, like, they're kind of keeping an eye out and also just like cleaning up the broken vase that Bork Borky brought and like also just like, they're staying vigilant. They're not like prying though. They're actively trying to avoid listening in because they know it's a private conversation and that's not very, you know, polite. Gotcha. So. I was about to say, if I, if I've got observant for a reason, I'd be really curious to what they were saying right now. They're not saying anything. They're actually yeah. not talking at all. Yeah, that's what I was curious about. You see where Seika gets it from. Hmm. I don't know if Duce has a plan or not. I, I guess we should wait. better if he dragged us all out here. Well, under, panic. Under, under false pretenses, my Oh, mind. no. Was I supposed to bring the plan? Okay. Uh, all right. Well, panic, all things considered, when we, you know, omelet maw, we went through literal hell and high water, but we found your mother. That's why I'm here, Greckles. That is I fair. Owe it to you, I owed it to you to take you this far. I'm just... If you're satisfied, I'm satisfied. But I can't help but feel a little annoyed that he lied to you is all. Well, Panic, I'm sure you probably had mixed feelings about seeing your mother again, wondering where in the world she was. But they all have their reasons. <sighs> I guess. I could feel for... Greckles, in some respect, panic, having somewhat of a bit of your past and your whole family relationships lied to and scrambled that way. Oh, no, hear, I get it. I get it. You all hear a voice ring out as you hear, while the tiefling may be filled with some spite, perhaps the intentions were good, but perhaps the action was not right. Had to reach for that one, didn't you? They cock their head towards you and look <laughs> a little offended. Oh, you best get used to that. Come on, guys, ease up. <laughs> We're having the time guys, of our lives. You guys hear footsteps approach as Seika rounds the corner, flanked by the Kenku that you know to be Grandmaster Kai, but is named Ryusuke. You want me to show the art again? I have it. <laughs> Yee. Yeah. Okay. Is that is was it? Do you say or do you say? Do you say? Uh, it's Ryu say. Yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure. Ryu say. It's like, like Ryu from Street Fighter, and then say. I didn't want to like disrespect. Say? I didn't want to disrespect my dad's BFF. <clears throat> that's that's your OG son right there, bro. His, his boyfriend forever. Yep. His his BAF. BF. Uh, BFF plus. Mm. His Biff? Uh, his, his boyfriend almost forever, but not actually. <laughs> almost. Uh, what? You think so you think cool. you think there are limits on gay birds in this game? Get out of here. His yeah. Biff banal. Just gay birds alone, though. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> he enters out with a like a poise that is very impressive and commands the room. Though you all may have silly antics, this Kenku enters with a air of wisdom and prowess that fills the space. And immediately you notice the monks on either side kind of make sure their positioning is good and their posture is fine as Seika, you approach the party first. Welcome back, Seika. Thank you, uh, Greckles. That'll suffice yeah, for that now. was weird. <laughs> Had to strain on that one, didn't you? There is a lot that has changed. Clearly. Notably, Seika, you do not see the aspect of Kai. Do I see um, any of the others? Or no? None nope. of them. Okay. They're all invisible to you. Maybe because they're from the it's the elemental plane, that's what it is. <clears throat> I don't need you to nope. explain it to me. No, nope, that's what that is. <laughs> it's it's so it's so vexing being a fucking protagonist, isn't it, Bosco? Zito, I will end you. <laughs> 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 no, 
Well, may I, may I present Master Ryusei? He watches the two monks on us, I kind of exchange looks, and they look like like they're going to kill you, Seika. Like, how could you say that? Like, and then Master Ryusei kind of nods towards you. I have seen much of you. And he steps forward. You must be Panic Grim Tongue. Oh, yeah. That's the <laughs> one. Oh, yeah. Your ego precedes you. <laughs> Trust me, Ryusei, it is not without warrant. I can tell by your personality, certainly not. He smiles. He's definitely, like, poking buttons, kind of like a dad. It is a force, and it's gotten me this far. It certainly has. I saw what you did for Seika-san. That is impressive. It is one thing to face death. It is another thing to bargain with it. And you, he looks down, your task... I stand at attention, not like, you know, high attention, but at least like a military stance. Aye. When you first met Greckles, I could tell you did not like him very much by the way you looked at him. I'm glad to see you've become close friends. I'm just surprised he actually stuck around with my horrible behavior patterns for the longest time. It wasn't like you were the only one with bad behavioral problems, buddy. Well, no one is perfect, and there's no and such thing as a past. permanent. And there's no such thing as a permanent state of self. I was a bit of a hoodlum in my time as well. <laughs> you, he looks up. Well, no, looks down because he's actually taller than you. You oh. must be Borky. Yes, indeed, I am. <laughs> Your you strength must is impressive. Be... You can tell Borky's forgotten his name and gestures off with his hand. Like holding his like holding his cape like I know what I'm doing, but then realizes within five seconds he doesn't. <laughs> he smiles and goes, Give me your best guess. Oh jeez. Oh god. Can I call a friend? I <laughs> I'm but I I'll, but I'll, I'll I'll sort of I'll sort of like behind my back I'll 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 message Okay. No, 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 I'll no, message no. Borky. It's Ryu say. Ah, it's Ryu from Streets. <laughs> you watch as Ryu. <laughs> you watch as Ryu say turns to you, Greckles, and goes, "He's fun." <laughs> he is a barrel. Ah, oh. uh, it's always great when people talk about you when you're in the room. <laughs> <laughs> and you, and you watch as he turns towards you, Remy. You are Remus Corbeau. From the lands of Valithia. Aye. You, and he brings up the, the kind of the hilt of his sword, like the pommel, and just kind of jabs you a little bit in the front of the armor. It doesn't hurt you. It's, it's not meant to hurt you. It's literally just a tap. He goes, you're a stiff board, if I've ever seen one. But I appreciate you, what you've done for Greckles. You're a good friend. I see a lot of myself in you. Perhaps that is too much of a praise for myself. <laughs> panic, panic with some, like, rolls his eyes audibly. <laughs> so oh, this is a sandpaper rub against it. <laughs> calls me. I uh, appreciate ghost. the kind words, Your Grace. So. The threat at hand. You have made it to the most difficult part of your journey. But the final threat is a large one, both in size and in power. Well, we're here, and we've proven ourselves worthy to be here. We're ready we for any threat. Are we shooting down a giant ember with wings? We would be fools to allow Taimatsu and the Phoenix to bring the fight to us. No. We must get you to him. You watch as uh, Master Ryusei kind of gestures. Follow me! Ah, a plan equally as foolish. I like it. <laughs> oh, he kind of begins to walk. I feel young again. 
This is going to be the dumbest but most efficient plan I can think of. As That's in being every the plan forward. I ever come up with there. That actually does give me quite a bit of hope. Uh, you guys so enter, different than usual. You guys enter a room. It's a very beautiful space. You see a plethora of these such slightly smaller obsidian trees and these terracotta pots with like little tiny little flames of ember of green and blues. Oh yeah. And in the center is a Zen sand garden that looks like it hasn't been touched in a while, but it is smooth on the surface and has the tools on the side. What the fuck? Please enter. Obsidian trees? Yeah, all Whoa. the trees here are obsidian and the, the leaves Holy are flame. Holy shit. That's fucking yeah. metal. Awesome. Dude, yeah. This place, cool, man. this place fucking rocks. Uh, and he'll pull out his obsidian pipe and he'll light it on one of the trees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it lights. You're like, so sweet. So. As you guys surround around this sort of flat sand, you watch as Ryusei Ito brings down the top of his sword to the sand. As it stands right now, Taimatsu has been dividing the city using obsidian walls that are incredibly difficult to traverse. They are solid in form, and only creatures of evil can walk between them. Hmm. Taimatsu is currently holding himself up. He kind of circles a spot. On the roof of the Crown Palace, where he oversees his dominion and subjugation. He is here. And you watch as he draws an X in the sand. And you know what? Just for the fun of it. Yeah, I was about to suggest. You're gonna, yeah, I was about to say, it. draw yeah. it on it. Yeah. Yeah, we we're going to draw it. Hold on, Heck I got to make yeah. the grid go away. Nice, here we go. Oh, that looks still clean. Mm -hmm. Except for my monitor. Jesus Christ, I need to wipe this thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the greatest way to find that there's a dirt spot on your screen. Yeah. <laughs> right? I'm aware of your capabilities. I'm aware of your strengths. Oh, Monty, click on yep. roll 20. Oh, that's right. Her dad is covering the page. Oh, roll 20, ramble out. You know, oh, dad. Roll 20, ramble out. Brother, please. Here you go. There's a large circular wall that encompasses the space. One may argue it is Taimatsu trying to defend himself. But it is more a centralized, reinforced point where he can give his commands and orders. The goal, as I'd hope you would agree, is to avoid any conflict before your encounter with Taimatsu. You cannot win this battle without being at your utmost strength. A good night's sleep is in order for that, I believe. And he turns towards you, Seika. Meditation and medicine for you. Yes, much. Hmm. His soul still hasn't resettled. Hmm. Your handiwork you any... was impressive, but even you have your limits. You have any idea if this if this Oni has our location or our whereabouts in mind? Possibly, but I would happily invite his legions to try and stop us. Taimatsu will no likely leave his perch. His command there is too powerful. Again, if we go to him, it's more of a direct attack. Think of it like, hmm, the queen of the anthill being left behind as the workers have all abandoned her. He is at his weakest. But if he is allowed to command his legions to attack us over and over, their resilience will outweigh our strengths. How have you been able to defend against his hordes for so long? Spells, hidden confusion, redirection, and subterfuge. Oh, I love all of those words. I figured you would, Greckles. <laughs> discombobulate. That's dis -tur. discombobulate. It's got the word bob in it, which is really funny. 
flash cut to the underdark. Ah, flash cut back. <laughs> <laughs> so the question then becomes, how do we get through that wall? I have an idea for that. Though he looks towards Seika and the other monks. I think many will disagree with this plan. We've tested the walls. It is impenetrable. But this tower is tall. The tower we currently reside in is about here. But not too terribly far from. This, and he turns to you, Borky, is where the, the idea goes a little crazy, a little bit of hero flavor to spice things up. Mm. Borky just if, we, if we destroy the foundations of the Acolyte Phoenix Tower while you are at its peak, as it falls, it should give you enough distance to fall into the centermost point of Taimatsu's hold. I... Um... Whoa, wait a minute. I so like... what, you're, what you're saying is... Wait, what you're saying is we need to get to the... We're going we need to hard. get to the top of the tower, then the bottom collapses out from underneath us, and we run to the center? No. No, we're you, pole vaulting. No, you he's saying we're going to top. use it to basically fall into the other building. We're going to use it like a... Uh, Vehicle of sorts. We're going to ride oh, it into the building. Oh, oh, oh! He'll this notice one, that. Man. One small flaw with this plan. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of uh, sure. Well, one very, very big one that I would like to see. At least we have some way to get it covered. That we are dropping a tower on top of a building, but they have a giant phoenix equally the size of something that could probably grab the tower and stop it from falling. I hope you have a really big distraction in mind. The phoenix cannot be commanded unless it is mounted, and Taimatsu does not ride on it unless it really comes down to the neck of it. Hmm. It's about to. Is there mm -hmm. any way we can distract the phoenix? Get it away from Taimatsu. He turns towards some of the monks and they kind of exchange the looks. He goes, we have ways. But if we send people to do distractions, you'll have less to back you up to get to Taimatsu. So it's a full frontal would, assault then, once the tower falls. Would we honestly need to distract the phoenix that much? I doubt any distraction could far outweigh the sight of the largest tower in the city falling down. We will. We would also have the ultimate element of surprise. Taimatsu will not see this coming. Precisely. We hit him and we hit him hard. It is necessary. There is no meandering to this. There is no sneaking past his guard. There is no infiltration. This is a direct assault. It is the only retaliation that will work. I have studied Taimatsu and his strengths. I have known him for many years and read many books about him. Greckles. What? Yes. He is no one to be trifled with. Understood, but what specifically are his strengths? He is a martial powerhouse and a cavalier. He is similar to your friend Remy. <clears throat> he turns towards you, Remy. But unless, unlike a griffin, he rides a phoenix. The phoenix is your main threat. Taimatsu, while he is strong, gains much of his power from the phoenix itself. Take down the phoenix, and you can weaken Taimatsu greatly. Does he I have a my... weapon of some sort? He has two. A sword. <laughs> yeah. And a... <laughs> what? Sorry, that was very... Uh, felt like that was very pointed. <laughs> Fine. He has yeah, a sword. Take both of them, motherfucker. <laughs> He has a sword and a kanabo. I have a much more important question. When we beat him, how do we seal him? That, he watches, he reaches into his sleeve and pulls out a beautiful ornate seal on black silk with red. Beautiful. I can give to you. And he hands it Is to this... you, Freckles. 
Is this the only one? One of two. What is second one? Right? I entrusted the second one to one of my other monk apprentices. She escaped into the material plane, and I do not know where she is. But I wanted an assurance that our means did not disappear forever. I'll a make backup sure that... plan for a backup plan. I'll make sure that we don't need it. As he just gingerly takes it with both hands. Okay. Ridicu it, he... Possibly a ridiculous question. We take down his phoenix. How long do we have before it rises again? If my readings are to be true, if the phoenix is slain, it will become reborn. The seals that no doubt you've seen attached to the phoenix will be rendered useless. They would have to be reapplied. But if Taimatsu is busy with you, that shouldn't be possible. Oh, that's what I meant. I meant the griffin. I meant the uh, phoenix he rides, not the one outside that's the size of a, of a city block. I think that's the one he was talking My about. My friend, yeah, that's the one. that is the phoenix he rides. Oh, jeez. Okay. That was a big sucker there, Tash. <clears throat> I'm, I'm just um, making sure there's not like a second pocket one that we have to worry about. Ah, uh, yes. Backup Phoenix. The backup Phoenix. <laughs> the, the, the pocket travel the size Phoenix. Phoenix. <laughs> oh, yes. That was, but only there's a sub Phoenix always at any. <laughs> Phoenix Secundus. Yes. There we it's go. Does he have any. Um, that's, that's profane right there. <clears throat> Does he have any spell casting capabilities? He, hmm. to my knowledge, he has abilities that can make it where you compete with him. He challenges you, and you are unable to resist the challenge. Wow. Oh, okay. When he is on his phoenix, he will not utilize these abilities, though, from what I understand. That does leave us with a rather insurmountable task, though. But hasn't all these tasks be, been insurmountable, Seika? I haven't died yet. I have. Yes, grins. And we have not yet had to fight one of the Elder Spirits. Mm. True. Uh, I did sort of mention in the Earth plane that uh, why the Oni were trying to fight them, and, well, hmm. Maybe we I should have said that. <laughs> we should look over every spell we have. We have a massive library of scrolls with us. Yusuke, oh, boy. Um, that actually reminds me. Um, Seika is going to fish out of his, we'll call it a satchel or something. Um, I'm going to pull out the Book of Ice that I found way back oh, when. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Where'd you find that? That was in the... The uh, Plane of Water, I believe. That's right. Mm. Yeah, it's a book about the ice fell. Um, and I'm going to hand it to uh, Master Yusei. Oh, I'm he takes the book with sure great I'm not sure if this is any help for us, but... He perhaps. opens the book and begins to flip through it. Mm. Unfortunately not. But, if we survive, a fine one to add to the collection. Uh, I uh, have an idea. So, you said you mentioned... You, you implied that the more troops that were distracting the phoenix, the less we'd have for the frontal assault. Yes. What if I make a substitute? Go on. I would need you to evacuate the area, though. <laughs> he cocks his head confused. Well, you've been, you've been creeping on us for a while. You should know my capabilities. Creeping on you, is that what Panic. you call it? What do you call it? Uh. I call it observing a warrior of the future. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Ice cover. <laughs> <laughs> he, tur he turns to you, Remy, and smiles. So, All right. All right, let's get back on task. So, right here. I, right there. I can make... <laughs> a being appear that would prove to be quite the distraction if we can get the phoenix's attention. 
I assume you are referring to the demons and devils you can summon. Uh-huh. Hmm. That you also but, can't control. But uh -huh. can last for a long time. Mm-hmm. He kind of puts a hand to his chin. If I could make a recommendation to that, perhaps... I intend to send 11 monks along with you to help fight off anything to keep you at your most fightable capabilities. If, by chance, that is not enough to get you to Taimatsu, that could be a good backup plan, Master Panic. Oh, Master. Don't let it get to your head. Yes, please don't encourage him. On that note, if it does come to the fact that we have to fight the Phoenix, what would you suggest we do as far as strategy? As far as strategy goes, he would know this stuff because he is a smart, smart man. Or bird. Smart man bird. Smart man bird. Oh, we, do all, man. we do also have a bunch of scrolls. Mm hmm. That we would like to save some for Will so we could replicate them. That is true. But well, can't replicate scrolls if we're dead. Yeah, we, we also have scrolls like, I don't know, Tidal Wave, Wall of Water. Ice Storm, Watery Spear, Cone of Cold, shit that seems like it would be paramount to taking down a phoenix. And it's Spider true. Walk. Wait, no. <laughs> I we'll still walk have that. On the air. I still have a I'm scroll saying, of prestidigitation. Prestidigitation? Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, that's my scroll. Is that not a good scroll? We're going to dazzle him to Sorry, death. you guys were naming off all your cool scrolls, so I'm sorry. That's a awesome. great, it's a great scroll. It's Thanks, great. man. I appreciate it. I'll be over here. You're all night. The phoenix will swoop at you, dealing blanket fire damage to you. The phoenix itself is strong. It is immune to being exhausted, never tires. It is intangible, so it cannot be grappled. Paralyzed, petrified, poisoned, made prone, or restrained, or stunned. It is a force that cannot be stopped. So then how does he ride it? He has a saddle. A magical saddle that he rides on it with. Mm. Mm. Magic can pierce its flesh. Can catch its Ma body. Panic. Magical saddle. Hang on. No, Panic. I think I just... You, no, you I think this... I had the same idea. I had yep. the same idea. Absolutely. So what you're saying is then, if he doesn't have this magic saddle, he can't ride... Mm -hmm. a lot mm -hmm. That's exactly oh. what I was thinking. I had the right. same uh, idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Disable the saddle. And... Do not wish to discourage this idea, but do not forget it also has chains around its neck. If you were to disable the saddle, there is a chance that he could hold to the chains and remain. I would assume the chains are just as magical. They are different magic. They are the magic that controls the phoenix, and it is a very powerful, deep, primordial magic that material plane magic cannot dispel. But <laughs> the saddle could be. Panic, if you disable the saddle, take it from me. It'll be much more difficult to control that beast. It's something we can try if he gets on it. But I think I'll need to hang on to some magical power. Though, 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 I might, I might not need to. I, if I can't disenchant it, I might at least be able to get it away from him. <laughs> I think I have. An, if, I think there might be a small idea that's brewing, not only with you, Panic, but with me as a backup. I hold up the scroll of Tidal Wave. If we can't get the saddle off, maybe we can get him off the saddle. If it comes that to that, true. here's the other when problem. So, for added out of context, when Taimatsu yeah. is mounted on the Phoenix, you cannot hurt Taimatsu. He is untargetable. Oh, no, no, no. We we just yeah. want to fucking... No, we're saying, like, get, knocking him off with a title. We want to knock him off. We don't want to deal damage to him yet. We just want also him Also that. Off. Like, you you can't you can't knock him off. Like, they fuse uh, each other. Yeah. He's untargetable as if he Got were the it. character Fizz from League of Legends. That's why if yeah. he's able to uh, battle, he when, might fall off that way. He might. It's not a guarantee, though. I, I will say this, as you guys are discussing uh, plans, um, you learn that Taimatsu and the Phoenix are connected physically, so it means whatever damage you aim for Taimatsu with will go to the Phoenix. Um, and 
that's just part of it. So any ability that you would use to target either Taimatsu or the Phoenix is going to be the same. So the same entity when they are together. So what just consider want? it consider it like that. There is no separate Taimatsu. There is no separate mm. Phoenix. They are the same thing in this in this in this context. What so that is that is if. Chain. Okay, treat, so the, that is... treat the phoenix as a phoenix. Also, there is a magical cell that lets him ride it. The cell, the spelling it could cause like something to happen in a turn, but it won't mean he'll be, be able to be dismounted because he's literally attached to the phoenix. It's like so a, we're just fighting this fucking bird thing. no matter what. Oh, yeah, all right. Yeah, well, sounds but, like it. but but I'm gonna let you guys deliberate um, for a while out of character or in character if you wish. Um, but that is the information that you have for the mm. context of this of this fucking fight. Um, so. This is the big one. This is a big one. Yep. I Here's mean, it's, it's... Oh, go ahead. Here's the other issue. Oh, excuse me. Some of us are not well-suited for one-on-one -on -one combat. How are we going to deter that ability? Well, I could, I could do the same thing that I was trying to do in the Elemental Plane of Earth. Uh, I assume this is some sort of charming effect, in which case my magic can sort of block that out and make it easier for you to resist it. But uh, I would need to devote myself to that darn... For the sake of counterspell, or any dispel magic... Counter it is charm! Dispel. Whatever! It's it's for context, and again... Yes. Um, I, I keep wanting to say Master Kai, because in my head that's... Oh. That's fine. No, that is his what name. Say Master Kai, whatever. Say whatever you yeah. want to say. We know who it is. calling him that for how many fucking episodes now? Just call him Ryu. Bird. From Streets. Ryu. Bale bread. Go ahead. Monty. Sorry, Monty, you were saying? I think she's looking for notes. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Peter froze. Peter froze. Oh, no. Well, uh oh. Oh, no. Nah, it's not good. Bad oh. time. The inmates are in charge of the asylum now, boys. We'll be right back. We'll be right, <laughs> we'll be right back. Ah, someone get Batman on the line. Arkham has gone down. Ryu from Fortnite? Oh, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> That's where your brain went? Uh. Huh? Yeah. Wait, Monty? We're back. There Sorry. we go. My monitor's USB ports are having some issues and it freezes randomly. So no, I'm you're back. good. We're you're back. How's your uh, audio? It's fine. It doesn't affect my audio. My microphone okay. isn't attached to my monitor, so it totally is unaffected. But it, it affects my mouse. It affects my mouse, and for some reason, it affects my my Bluetooth thing, so I lose my audio. But like, I'm I'm totally fine. Uh, where did I cut out? Because I lost my train of thought. You you were about to you tell were, us like, hey, for the purposes of counter spell or whatever, and then you were about to deflate my yeah. my yes. my. Yeah. His no, I'm not doom. deflating. I'm giving clarification points so you don't get fucked Die. over because, um, you know, uh, Ruse knows some stuff about the Phoenix and knows some stuff about Timeouts through research because it's really what he's been doing this whole time. Um, it is the command spell. So for the sake of it, it is not an ability like it's like the paladin game. stuff. Oh, I would it's have a, I would have yeah. extensive knowledge of that because I use the command spell as part of that, my glamour yes. stuff. So, so I would know that that is a level one. Uh, hmm? Well, it could you be cast at a higher to, level. Yeah, you speak a well. You speak a one word command to a creature you can see within range. The target must succeed a wisdom saving throw on its next turn. Uh, spell has no effect if the target is undead, doesn't understand your language, or if it, or if it command is directly harmful to it. The other spell he knows, which is command, is compelled duel. There's the paladin oh, one. Right. That's the big one. That is yeah. the big one. Compelled duel. Yes, I believe that is. Also, a charm is command. A charm? It's it's is technically it? a charm effect because they have to pass then, a save, and then they uh, are compelled does, to it, a wisdom save. It does not say it is a charm effect. Mm. You attempt to compel a creature into a duel. One creature that you can see within range of within wisdom saving throw on a failed save. The creature is drawn to you, compelled by your divine command, which is not divine. It's evil. For the duration, has disadvantage on attack rolls against creatures other than you, and must make a wisdom saving throw each night. Attempts to move to a space that is more than thirty feet away from you. If it succeeds uh, on the saving throw, the spell doesn't restrict the target's movement for that turn. It is not a charm effect. Shit, you're right. Mm. Oh, fuck. So, so counter check. But, dis but dispel magic would work. Dispel so magic, counter, counter spell would work, yes. But well, counter well, counter charm is even more useless than it usually is. So. Yeah, but that means you can just focus on keeping his shit on lock because he's not going to be a full caster. Yeah. So he's not going to have a lot of uses of that. 
it's probably not even a true casting thing. It's probably a uh, racial thing, which means it's even more limited. Uh, we don't know that. But well, if, probably. It's, if, it's, if it is just a thing that he can do, then I can't counter charm it. I don't think. Rue I can't counter charm it, but does, dispel it. You can. Rue well, say does spell. not does not know how often he can use these abilities or at what level they are at. He has just read accounts of it happening, so that is. But Monty, whatever, whatever he can do and however he can do it, dispel and counterspell do work. Potentially, but counterspell maybe. But again, it, depending on what level those spells are, there might be a chance you have to roll because certain. Spells I know, but that, but that's level. what I mean is like you can that's make fine. the attempt. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Fine. That's yeah. Fine. So they are they are spells for the sake of those spells. So Correct. unlike Don Kutsu's mind control ability, which was an ability and not a spell, that's. So Different. they are spells, so they're okay. limited. So that's good. Yeah. So I can counter spell them. Yes. Good to know. Mm. Mm -hmm. I would also okay. say we can hazard a guess that it's likely a legendary action. So bear that in mind when you're thinking about how many times he can do it. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So question. Is command and uh, compel duel, is that vocal? Yes. Yes, they are both vocal spells. <laughs> I'm changing my spells. Uh, can yeah, because you're can a ranger, you, you can do it. I have you silence. Can't you can't prepare spells as a ranger. You're, I thought you, you know, could prep as a ranger. Caster. No, you have them. Mm -hmm. You can change them level by level. I believe you. I don't think you. They're, you're not a prep caster yep. for a ranger. Yeah. Fuck. Was that only a three yeah. five thing, Mark? It was actually. It was. Yeah. Ah, fuck. Because I was Cause like, yeah, I Jabari. Because I can't, I can't, dude, if I could change my spells around during rests and stuff, I would have changed them. That's weird, because wizards used to no be, one... can wizards do it? Yeah, wizards are preps. So, wizards, wizards, because wizards and spells are based on the books that they carry. They're not yeah. Wizards, like clerics, spells. and paladins prepare from a list of spells available to them. That's, Every okay, other that's class. Yeah. Oh, they took, and they took, and druids, yeah. They and took, druids. Uh, they took rangers off the list. Damn it. Yeah, every, yep. everyone else has, is stuck with their spells until they Druids used up. to be able to do it too. Fuck. Well, druids do. Druids, oh, druids do. do. Rangers okay. don't. Yeah. So. Yeah. Artificers uh, can as well. Uh, Basically, anyone who spell casts on some sort of innate ability is not a prep caster. Mm. Yeah. But if you get your magic from a separate source, then you're a prep caster. Fuck Except that. for warlocks. They're fucking weirdos, and well, they yeah, never like, make sense. <laughs> anyway, <Hey>. point notwithstanding, <laughs> don't, don't worry Boy about it, <laughs> uh, Man, if only so... I could see the future, I look at my fucking arm. Right. Uh, hmm. So... They're not there. Counterspell, dispel, that's on the table if we need to. Honestly, Connor, the only reason I would use that is if he engages somebody who's not a frontline guy to get them the fuck that, out of there. Yeah, yeah. But if no, he's I like, if he, because he, if he's stupid enough to use that on Borky or me, we're going to wreck him. Well, but, but if he uses thing. it on Greckles, you need to get him out. Here's the yeah. thing. So it sounds like our plan is fight the Phoenix first so he Correct. can't get on it. And then once we get to him, even if he does use this challenge ability, we just don't let people be alone. Well, also bear in well, mind. Well, no, we can't go after the Phoenix because it, it's all over the fucking place. We we have to go after him, and he'll bring the Phoenix to us. Yeah, I thought they're one in yes, the same. but we want it. We want to target. They're the they're they're one in the same. The moment some shit happens, he's gonna get on that Phoenix, and there's no yeah. getting him off that Phoenix. Yeah. So we're so. gonna fight the Phoenix first, correct? Uh, either yeah. way, we're gonna have to fight the Phoenix. Right. Right. Which is fine. We 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 handle so, that. Theoretically, it's a two stage fight. Yes, and when he's off the Phoenix. You know, we may have to worry about other mooks. We don't know, but ideally, you know, if he does once, use these once challenge he's abilities, off the Phoenix, just don't let people be by themselves because right, then that yeah. way, even if he challenges someone who's not a front line, they'll still have someone next to them who is exactly. So um, that makes me. Up oh, here's idea. the other thing that I, we have to keep in mind: the fact that he can draw people to him makes me wonder if he has some kind of AOE attack that he can do with people in close range. So we have to. Be, I don't. Again, we don't know what extra shit he has. Does, does Ryu know anything about that? Does he have a special ability that he can do? He doesn't know. Okay. Yeah. Let's assume that there's a reason he wants people close to him. Well, he did Probably because uh, he's, uh, a, he's a martial powerhouse. We already yeah. knew, we already know that for a fact. So likely, you know, just based off of what you've heard from the other Oni, that he is a subjugator. He will mm -hmm. break people. That seems to be what he revels in. All right. So Koku, remember, remember Koku what we is were so told when we got here too yeah. that like he doesn't want to kill them, he wants them to bow. So there's right. like a, a there's a dominating sense over it too. Yep. So like Whoa. I doubt that he's going to necessarily hide behind, you know, Koku, AOE spells. Koku was subterfuge and sneak attack. Yeah. 
Kozui was full on barrage. Donkutsu was maneuvering bobbing. and he bobbing was manipulation. Weave. Yeah. yeah, he was manipulation, basically. You do not know what Taimatsu's thing is. So you have to kind of figure that out. Well, on your own. it sounds like the plan is use the building, crash through, let the mooks take care of the the people on the ground and then get to Taimatsu. Yes? To get to Taimatsu as soon as we can, yeah. Exactly. So we we try to deal with as little of the foot soldier traffic as we can because we don't want to burn resources. We want to get it, to Taimatsu. It would also probably be a waste of resources to try and have any of the monks try to distract the phoenix because as soon as we're I in... I would agree. It's, it's, it doesn't matter. Things. It's getting brought to us anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So if that's... Honestly, that's... I think we've got our plan. Hey, hey Monty. Hi. I want to ask a question because this might come into play in the actual fight. I have absorb elements, but I also have a helmet that resists fire. So it would, would double. That sta would that stack? It stacks. It stacks. There you go. Yeah. So you would have so, it with the resistance. Shit, that's and, amazing. And, yeah, that's nice. But it costs a spell slot, and uh, absorb elements is a reaction. So just keep that but in mind. But that's still fun. Yeah, but you could double have it if you. So like, if yeah. you have it with resistance and somehow also, failed to screw it. I, I, also, I just looked it up. We also have elemental bane. Which removes resistance to elements. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Um, let me just check here. It removes resistances to elements. Yeah, the target must succeed in a constitution saving throw or be affected by the spell for its duration. The first time on each of each turn, the the affected target takes damage of the chosen type, it takes an additional two D six damage of that chosen type. Moreover, the target loses any resistance to that damage type until the spell ends. There you go. So it's a constitution saving throw? Yeah. He probably yeah, has really save. high con, but it's... He probably has, yeah, probably has... He really also high. has the legendary resistances, so... Yeah, yeah but he would have to down. burn them every time the spell goes off. No, he just has to do it once. Oh, to pass the save. I see what you're saying. Right, right. yeah. So, honestly, let's not worry about leave, that then. Leave taking care of the legendary resistances to me. That, that is literally... That and dispelling I, shit. Also, am... maybe healing. Uh potions. How many potions do we have? Potion count. Oh, yes. Oh, right. Uh, uh, give you those up. Precisely none, I think. So we'll make sure everybody's got at least potion one. potion of healing. What do you... I Zito, have, you had most of them. What do one, you have? I have okay. one potion of healing as well. I have one potion that's from Willow that does 8d4 plus 10. Okay. 8d4 uh, plus have, 10? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I have two healing potions that are 4d4 plus 5. 44 plus 5. Okay. I have two regular healing potions that are 2d4 plus 4. Okay. I have one greater healing potion that's 4d4 plus 4. And I have a potion of vitality that removes all exhaustion, poison, and disease. I think oh, that should go to 40. Up. Wait. That, yeah. What? Oh, no, that's not, that's no, not that exhaustion. Won't apply, that's not yeah, exhaustion. that won't apply to... Yeah, so you have a, you yeah, have a, yeah. you have a health potion. You have the 8d4 plus 10. Yes, I have the AP. I, I would say that in Vitality should probably go to Borky. Yes. Because he's going to be frontline, and it's going to be easier if if Panic has to, like, do stuff that he doesn't have to worry about healing in the middle of this fight for as long as possible. Um, yeah. The problem is healing would go my action, and I need Keep. to... No, need no, to no. Explain. Healing would be a bonus action, so you'd, be, you'd still be able to attack. Mm, Monty, Monty homebrewed that. Right, right. What's Keep up, Monty? Mind, Borky's rage does not reduce fire damage. Mm hmm Correct. Mm -hmm. But uh, he still has like a bajillion thousand healths. Just, you know, just, I just want to bring up those. Why do you think I'm giving him those? No. Monty, 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 yeah. give him the best Monty he's the health tank. I'm the AC tank. He has the health potion. Um, so can we, I we, take, could, we could also give Borky the absorb element scroll. That is true. I might be absorbing element. It's not a terrible idea. Cool. It's a reaction uh, used. As a reaction, you can you yeah can gain resistance to the and I already I like yeah might as well because I don't think we need Willow to Willow can make plenty of that it's a very simple spell. What's up, Gaijin? Thank you. So I have four health potions. I've been oh, saving those perfect. in case you guys go down because I move really really fast and what show you have? your faces. I have uh I have three two d four plus twos. Okay. Um and then I have one forty four plus five. I would say hang on to your health potions because I promise you, with you being the the son of of Kai, 
he's going to target you and you need to be able to take care of yourself. But like I said, I've mostly held, held on to those in case someone goes down and I can get to you guys is probably faster than anyone else can. No, I, I agree. So if somebody needs one, you can get there. But I also think you should have plenty of potions on you because he's coming after you. Mm -hmm. We like he's gonna find you and he's gonna hurt you. Um, this I also is your arc. <laughs> yeah, I'm, this I'm, is your I'm, arc. Take the potions. I'm Where aware. Let me talk. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I have a scroll. Of sc yeah, I have a scroll of spider climb still. Potion water breathing is not gonna help. Um, uh, I do have that ever smoking. I do have that ever smoking bottle. If we need to just disappear for a couple rounds and just get resituated, like mm -hmm. if we're getting bore down upon. Um, aside from that, I believe that's all I got from my back pocket right now. Does Seika um, have any potions on them? Yeah, I have one potion of healing that's 2d4 plus 4, and then I have 23 dried rations. <laughs> awesome. Uh, so, so I can throw so dried food at him. I, I have uh, three health potions of 2d4 plus 4, and I have one greater healing of 44 plus 4. So, Task, what if you gave Seika the 44 plus 5, the other greater healing, and then kept all the other ones for yourself? Because Seika's also going to be up in the middle of all this stuff. As That's a, fair. Some... So, yeah. Am Seika... I? I assume you're going to be punching and kicking stuff, especially when he's off. I, I mean, he tries... we, we had not heard yet from Ryusei which, which of his monks he was sending and what who was going to be doing what yet. So, I was not necessarily assuming that Seika was going to be part of it. You are. You, You're you are absolutely. I, listen, he can go fuck himself. You're coming with us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he said your job is not done. Like you're not sure. finished. Yeah. Yet, no, I so. know. But I just we yeah. we hadn't necessarily talked. Yet and I'm letting you know. I'm, was, I'm throwing it down. Wise, as <laughs> so so as a role playing thing. Hey, Seika. Yes. You're fighting with them, and that's the role play. Uh, Excellent! Right. Whoa, <laughs> thanks, man. That's awesome. <laughs> Sorry, that's actually so Monty. That's, your, that's, that's literally the best thing you've done tonight by far. Oh wow! God. Really, Bosco? <laughs> I can't wait until we get to your surprise arc, and we can shut all over that. What surprise arc? Your arranged marriage. I can't. So wait. Is, no! is Task oh. gonna give that potion to Seika? Right here, down. The forty-four plus five. I'm giving you that one. You could, I yeah, have that you're getting that from Task. Okay, all right. So I'm adding that back into my inventory. All right, I have one of those. Uh, am I still giving the 84 plus 10 to Borky? Yes. And okay. then also the potion of, I think we're going to give him potion of vitality, vitality right? Vitality, right. Yeah, so, 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 so Taka, you have a 84 plus 10 potion. Uh, okay. Um, Oh, one second. Let me try and add this to my character. I'm going to also mark this as being... I Because I have that on my sheet. I'm going to put Borky. I'm putting in parentheses well. who I'm giving this yeah, sheet to. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Uh, and then Potion of Vitality is on okay, Borky. What, what, what do yes. I call it? Just Potion of Vitality? It's so just Potion. You have a Potion of Vitality and a Healing Potion. Okay. Big. Potion oh. of Vitality pretty much means that when you go into a rage and you, like, fuck yourself over with exhaustion, you drink that, that's all gone. Yep. Okay. So oh. rage as much as you like. Mm -hmm. Well, I can only do that once. That's only a one-time re rework. I can't do that. And just healing, basic healing potion. Yes, no, you, have a, you no. have a healing four potion. plus ten. Yeah, yeah it's eight. a it's a big boy. Oh, so okay, so sorry, I'm just trying to type out stuff here. So yeah, yes. yeah, 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 no, it's fine. Yeah. So like, you're giving me a healing potion. Then is it called healing yes. potion? It's just called the potion. It's the willow Thank potion, you. if you want to call it that. I I don't know what I should call it. That's willow potion. Willow call it, potion. Yeah. Willow Potion Basic. Okay. Willow Potion Basic, it does 8d4 plus 10. Got it? I I wrote down Willow Potion Basic, so yeah. Did no, you, write you, have, down you have to write 10. down 8d4 plus 10. That's how much really? healing it does. Yeah, because you, you have to roll 8d4 yeah. and then you add 10 to it. It's not going to automatically roll it for you, so Correct. that'll okay. help you remember that when you use it, you have to roll that many dice. Yep. Because you'll have to do it manually. Uh, Gaijin, was there any other stuff that you wanted to go? I'm just because I, I was doing the potions, but I think you had something else you wanted to throw in. I've got plenty of ways to dodge damage. Um, I can Misty Step, I can Invis, I can Mirror Image. Um, mm -hmm. If I need to disappear uh for a brief moment or become untouchable while we're trying to get him down and then slap the seal on him i've got the ability mm -hmm. uh 
everything else is going to be kind of tricky. I do still have this guy self. So yeah. between that and silent image, maybe throw him off depending on how intelligent he is. Uh -huh. Um, so, I mean, that's basically all I've got at the moment. So I can do a little bit of trickery, got but it. aside from that, I'm just utility run around and just position. Like if positioning needs done, I can do it. Right. I, we have something else that might actually be good for like, at least maybe not doing damage to the Phoenix, but knocking them down to our level. We have a scroll of whirlwind. Don't forget that the uh, Phoenix has been declared as being immune to exhaustion, grappled, paralyzed, petrified, poisoned, prone, restrained, and It's stunned. not physical. Yeah, we, yeah. we basically, has, we, we have to fight it. These are condition immunities that it has, yeah. and that's, uh, you say has, has completely been transparent sure. and has-, has uh, I'm, just, I'm just double checking something real quick, because because uh, I just want to see this real quick here. Mm -hmm. uh, da -da 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 -da, creature, blah, 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 it's just, da -da 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 -da. whirlwind, the 10 foot radius, 30 foot high cylinder, blah, blah, blah. Creature must make a dex saving throw. Uh, the creature takes 10d6 bludgeoning on a failed save or half as much on a successful one. Must succeed on a strength saving throw or become... Ah, uh, damn it. I thought it would be, like, pulled. Or oh, wait, no, it does. The creature is pulled five feet higher inside of the whirlwind. I mean, that would change its elevation, but it's already going to be... It, it, and it, it can fly. mean to it, yeah. so... Yeah, yeah so all right. It can take fair. the damage, but any of the conditions that might apply to it won't really help us out that much. I was hoping for a push or a pull, not so much the restrained or anything, but I mean, it's something to keep wrong. in the back. If we need to push it somewhere, it's it's something you could use. I just don't know if you'd be getting the best use out of that spell. Yeah, it's not that. it's not fully beneficial. It's just damage yeah. dealing is the problem. All right, never mind. Because it is a seventh level spell, and I'm like, fuck, we have big boy spells. Yep. yep. All right. So we know what we can do. We know yep. what we should do. We got our items. Everybody rip those item down. Trade. We should be good. Let's you guys go. rest, Seika. Your exhaustion is removed as you are provided a item that will cure you. Completely? Yeah. Cool. Thank you. And as you guys prepare, shouldering your weapons, potions at hand, the final Oni ahead of you. You take in a deep breath. Greckles, holding the Mask of Kai in your hand, you put it to your side and look forward and that's where we're going to end the session for tonight all oh, right boy oh, boy i um uh, i know we don't usually do this but i actually have a suggestion for a title an old flame oh i like that a lot mm. i like that a lot like bye, austin. A lot. Yeah. Bye, austin. bye austin bye austin bye austin also who better to name this one? Oh mm -hmm. boy i love all the connotations in so oh, now can I now hey 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 Greckles, can yeah, I tell up? you did it? Can I tell you, you did a good job now? Is that? I suppose you can. I will All accept right. that I'm, compliment. I'm, I am a big fan of you. I'm I'm a big fan of you too, Remy. What? He has a big, he has I'm a not big a fan. Remy. What the fuck's a Remy? He has a big <laughs> fan. It's a big giant ornate fan. I have. A oh, I do. Too. I do have that too. You yeah. know, for whatever that may or may oh. not do. <laughs> That was a session, huh? Yeah, By the way, 160, number 166. 166. Yep. 166. Boy, oh boy. Indeed. That was some shit. By the way, man. huge shout out to that art jack for doing all of those art yeah. pieces. Can we get those yeah, back up yeah. one more time? Good. Yeah, I can show those again. Um, Just all. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot. Um, I wasn't able to have a big version of the of masks. Mm -hmm. You say? The, the that that's the the elemental plane of fire image was just like damn <laughs> yeah. yeah i'm like i'm like the moment i slap this they're gonna all go oh hey hey chat remember what we talked about in the lounge on tuesday bingo <laughs> Every, is that what you predicted so yeah, we were talking we were talking about the, the phoenix camera. already being corrupted yeah by the yeah. way do not spoil this on social media. Oh, yes, good God, do it. It's huge. If you're going to have discussions on social media, use the hashtag the unexpectable spoilers. Also, remind all Otherwise, your friends who might be behind to put the unexpectable spoilers in their blacklist for terms so that it mm -hmm. won't show up on their on their time. I have an idea. They can exactly. also talk about it on the Discord. I was gonna yeah. say, shout out to the lounge, which is still bumping. There's the artwork of Grandmaster Kai. 
I had to get versions with him with the mask and him without. It was the only when you, way. When you take the mask off, I was just like, oh, don't say deep beaked, don't say deep beaked, don't say deep beaked. Also, can anybody guess what type of bird he is? Oh, I will not answer. It's gonna fucking you haunt me. me. Shit. A liar. <laughs> Come on. Get over <laughs> it. See, Monty, you gave me all that shit for being mad at Jade. What? He's mad at Kai now. You can't win. Uh, is he a <laughs> golden pheasant? And he's furious, but he's not gonna say anything. Well, he did, but. <laughs> well, but Monty, I wanted him to lie because it would show that he's not just a perfect guy. He's got flaws. Mm. Come on. No, what was fair. that? Sorry, Zito. Sure. Golden pheasant. Hey! Oh, nice. Look at this mother! Look at this yeah. motherfucker, dude! You know your COVIDs. They're very pretty. Oh, uh, that <laughs> funny reference! I yeah, got that reference. That's all right. I, she didn't even care. I'm gonna go to Chick a Fil. Fuck this. <laughs> and it turns Ty. out he is. He By is... the way, did anybody pick up on the three-letter name at all? No, I'm dumb. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, Kai. No one. I I don't think I saw anyone go, huh? Ith and Aos have three letter names. Kai no. is a three letter name. Not I'm, a single a person dumb. guess. Yeah, but oh, here's no. the problem. Kai is also a very common name. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, and here's the other is. problem. You could have also just picked another three letter name to name the other thing. It didn't have to be Kai. <laughs> like it could have been Kai and and it could have been, been Bob. Bob. Yeah. You were Bob. telling me Bob, been Bob. Was fucking aspect of Aos? Oh my god. <laughs> fucking Bob, the aspect of yeah, aspect of life. Yeah. Aspect of noodle. I don't know. Noodle. <laughs> aspect, aspect of, of no, therapy. The aspect of eyes. Yeah. Oh. Uh, hey. Hey. Uh, so next session will hundred percent be a fight. So oh, be sure. ready. Holy shit. What if we just roll in the lobby for like three hours? <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> Get ready for uh, the next battle. This oh, is a battle to strengthen the soul of fearless warriors. Also, Only uh, one side can win. This'll be this'll be really fun. The final the final breath, the final defiance of the elemental plane of fire. Boy, in the man. land of fire. Can I just say some of the fucking <laughs> some of these comments scrolling by right now? I'm dying. Oh, uh, which Orpington one was the team? Aspect confirmed. Uh, well, I think I think, yeah. somebody, I, think, I, think somebody, I think somebody asked like because uh, I was clicking around and like I was just going through some notes like really fast and like I do have the stream up but I don't look at it. But as I was clicking by, someone in all caps like it was all like lower caps and then someone in all caps is like, "Is the Phoenix gay too?" With like five question marks. <laughs> I don't and know, Monty, like, are all your I'm, birds gay? I'm like, look, yeah, of course it's gay. It's flaming. Come There's on. something in the water. It's oh! the freaking bird gay. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a uh, chat. I have I have bad news for you though. What's that? I'm sorry, but but Grex is straight. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry to sink uh, the ship. I'm sorry. Uh, hey, but I'm hey, guess. Hey, guess what, Gaijin? So was your so was Greckles' dad. <laughs> so well, there we there go. go. But do you know who wasn't? Um, so was I. You, so you was I. Then, hmm. Yeah, yeah. Ryusuke no, was hitting on your dad you, hard. You say was not. Yeah, you got it. It's good. It's good <laughs> no, I, I, I got it. I was, I was there, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you, you were like, hey, I'm taking this fucking gun and I'm shooting this ship. By the way, when I uh, when we were, I was muted while you were having that conversation. Uh -huh. When Monty said that. I literally felt my eyebrows hit my hairline. <laughs> I was like, it's "Oh me. shit!" It's, it's like that scene from Futurama Which, where the where where Amy is just like, "My family's super rich," and his eyebrow goes up, and he has to physically push it push down with his finger. Yeah. <laughs> Gaijin, Gaijin, I love that because of something that happened in like episode twenty-five that has never come up since. People are just so hard on yeah. the fucking train. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, the thing with Master uh, Master Kai being being gay or yeah. like the oh yeah 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 no he is. But it was specifically in the context that like the way that you said it like you didn't, he, he you was didn't just have like to I was it, so jealous of your great. mother like yeah. that was great. such a good line. Yep. Yeah. yeah. To have that drop on that was that was pretty that was very subterfugeish. Mm -hmm. Oh. God, just but he's still, major he's whiff, still, whiff, whiff, whiff energy. He's, he just looks. Still, he just looks down at Greckles. <laughs> I wish I could have been your mother. 
I wish I <laughs> Oh, the horrible image. Oh, that's that a terrible line, but I love it. I'm not your it. father, Greckles. I'm your mother. But here's, the, here's the thing, though. He did legitimately like your mom, though. Like, sure, legitimately. Yeah. He's like, I can't oh. hate you. You're a nice you're... No, like, I can't hate you. You're a nice person. So it's like, you know, it's yeah. just like, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. He it's doesn't really resent you. resentment when you end up being the third her. angle of the triangle. Yes, but he'll just, but you he'll like just be everybody. the big gay uncle. That's all. Yo, guys. Mm -hmm. If, if this wasn't a massive fucking spoiler, someone in chat just said it a really good episode title, Aspect of Lies. L I E L A S. Oh, yeah. I mean, that, that's such a spoiler, though. That's yeah. just really good, good though. so good. Ugh. That is really good. Should probably get to those. Yeah. Uh, let's I'm... go through, let's go down the horn and, and yeah. see yeah. what everybody's up to. Oh, Guys and Google, where can they find you? Over. Losing my shit at a completed backstory. Damn. Yeah. By the way, Holy I've said another, another episode. It, yeah. The title is "Oh my God, Grex's backstory." Finally. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> episode one sixty six. Finally. <laughs> the episode, the episode, the episode was just fucking finally. All right. Twitch.tv says Sky Jing Goomba. No H. Connor, looking at you. Um. Uh. Just got done streaming. Uh. Gets Fumaden Undying Moon. Imagine. Uh, Castlevania, except set in the Japanese Buddhist hells, plural. It's wild, uh, and also it's a roguelite. Uh, but I think we're going to be getting back to um, Monster Hunter Rise this weekend, I think. And piggybacking off what Zito was talking about, I will also be doing the uh, oh Bio Mutant. Uh, weird name, but that game looks so goddamn. It's basically like Kung Fu Panda meets Fallout meets crazy i o i can't open even. world kung fu fable rpg yep uh and then aside from that i've got a brand new video coming out it's been asked a couple of times for a while i am culturally breaking down big lady d dimitrescu herself and her yokai origins because i know there's a lot of you are out there that already know what she's based on Have you ever thought about why and just how damn deep this rabbit hole went for me because i have a lot to say about it and not just her but the other lords as well so be tuned in for that because there's a lot to go over oh yes that's, that's, that's me oh tuesday uh, saturday sunday 7 p.m central sorry Woo. <laughs> excellent mark allen jr where can they find you you can find me on twitter.com slash Mark Allen Jr. here on twitch.tv slash Aeon Pro Tech Gaming. You can follow my fat chunky cat bunny on Instagram at chonk for life. Um, I am going to be participating in what I can't believe is my first con of the year in the month oh, of yeah. June. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 We're going Wait, to this. Yeah, that's right. We forgot to announce this. Uh, I'm, I don't know that we're talking about the same thing. Um, I am going to be guesting at CasaCon in June, oh, uh, which is a convention that you can attend from the comfort of your own home. If you are interested in that, please check out my pinned tweet on Twitter, or you can head to casacon.nardio.net. It's a free event. Um, I will be participating along with several other voice actors on panels and conversations and such from June 25th to June 27th. Uh, so check that out if you are at all interested in it. And that is that. Excellent. Hey, Rebacco, we're going to fight you. On the internet, uh, shout out to the Discord, Love You Lounge. If you're not on the Discord, definitely join the G Discord. Check out Guilty Gear, Octopimp's in it. You guys like Octopimp, right? Yeah! yeah Guilty Gear. Fucking um, yes. <laughs> Big Smelly Willy in my book. Uh, what else? I don't know. Be good to each other. Thanks for tuning in. This was fun. Woo! Can I just say that Octopimp had probably the greatest joke I've ever heard, even though it's so simple, but it just made me really just like, every time I'm like, I'm funny, I'm like, I'm not as funny as Octopimp. A Japanese investigator who, who, in Japan, who solves crimes. Investigation. What? No. What? You know, I thought uh, you said he was funny. Yeah, yeah. You, you, that Dude, was the I, opposite. I I literally wake up in a cold sweat some nights, and I'm just like, God damn it! It just it enters my jerk mind. Jerk awake and just like, why? <laughs> His head's like, that's some Zendio shit right there. Dude, Dude give me give me like two weeks, and I'll float? punch him for you. <laughs> You see his face float by like the fucking Adrian Brody, the Brody Quest face. Yeah, exactly.
then you go to the midnight channel and then you're just like, no, you're not me. Yeah. My jokes are way funnier than that. <laughs> -na 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 they say boo or boo uns. Other thing, boos go. Uh, we're not playing chip though. Dude, where can they, they find you? you? Uh, yeah, where can they find you, buddy? Oh man, if if they must, they can find me <laughs> over. <laughs> You, you can, can find, find him at the hot dog stand down on 7th and... Oh, my God. <laughs> Hell, yeah, dude. You want a dirty, okay, dirty water, water hot dog? dog. Yeah! Come on, bro. Let's go. Let's go do let's it. Let's go, baby. Hollow food. Let's go. You had mustard, right? You put mustard on your dogs, right? Oh, for sure. My man. Uh, Hell, yeah. Uh, you can find me over at twitch.tv slash Zito, where I've been playing a shitload of mods, indie games, and uh, as per the usual... Uh, you'll also find me playing Biomutant because it's the first fucking AAA game in a good long while that I'm actually interested in and cannot wait to play. I've actually snuck out and saw some gameplay footage of people who, like, broke Street Date and got the game early. It looks still fun. I can't wait. Uh, beyond that, my D&D &D book, uh, if you, if you, you see my shit on DMs Guild all the time, you, you just fine. You, you just, thank you for supporting that. Sooner rather than later, Aloysius' Guide to Social Acceptance uh, will be coming out onto DM's Guild, housing maybe 42-plus monster races that you can play in the D&D &D game. Have you ever thought to yourself, if, if I, I... Listen, Gremlin is more than a lifestyle. It could also be a playable race in this book. Did you want... Want to be a Henga Yokai, and I'm so sorry that I probably pronounced that wrong. And Gaijin's eyes are tweaking, and he's probably on his way to beat me up from his uh from his apartment. Or hell, if you ever wanted to be a Sahagin, you could be a giant sharkman. That this book has that and more. It'll be out oh, hopefully. Uh, it'll be out hopefully by the end of this month, or at the least the middle of next month. Yeah. Excellent. Monty Glue, we're going to find you. You can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Tomorrow, Ocarina of Time, Spirit Temple, mm. or the entire game. One or the other. I didn't want to do the horse game because it sucks and I didn't enjoy it. Mm. I also couldn't upgrade the nut. So it's also doesn't matter really in the end because there's no Don't nut upgrade. upgrade Don't have nut. upgraded nuts? Yeah. No, I'm Monty. Not. You found me. It was, a, it was legitimately a glitch, though. Like, it's a glitch where if you do a quest before actually going and getting the upgrade, oh. you don't get the upgrade. Wow. So, Damn. yeah. I didn't get the upgrade. And, and then we played then we played the horse mini game, and it's like, yeah, I get 1,500 points, and I'm like, this isn't fun. I'm done. And so we're, we're going to go for all Scatellas and all heart pieces, and that's what we're going to settle for. So, there you go. Um, can't believe you missed out on upgraded nuts. Glad I got mine in. Takahata 101, where can they find you? Ah, uh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Takahata101. Tomorrow I'm playing a bunch of fun games. Would you like to hear some of the names I'm playing tomorrow? Yes, sure. please. Ah. Dr. Langesco, the Tiger and the Terribly Cursed Emerald, a whirlwind heist. Excellent. Simulacra, kill it with fire, and I am your president. Plus a bunch of others I can't spoil. Kill it with fire is a good time. You'll actually have fun. No, yeah. I'm not. I hate spiders, so... Good. I mean, it'll be cathartic then. Yeah. No spoilers. Oh, down. <laughs> <laughs> There's several simula simulators in there, and I can't say more than that. But yeah, I also got a 3D model on the way. A lot of fun stuff happening. But thank you so much. And that's it for me. Hey, and you can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and youtubecom devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Playing. Uh, Tabletop Simulator, Warhammer uh, games. Uh, we're going to be playing some Betrayal at House on the Hill uh, this this mm. coming week. Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, me and my buddies. Uh, hey, Mr. Rabbit, Count Widget, and I believe Probate is going to be joining us as well for that. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Friday's Friday Fun House, where I play party games with my friends. Might be more of the same, might be some other stupid, funny bullshit. Maybe playing some Monster Hunter Rise. Who knows? Uh, Saturday, uh, before Prince Division or Gateway, respectively, whenever that's happening. You can find me uh, playing some Yakuza 3 Remastered. We're nearing the end of the game as I've come to hear. Uh, that's going to be interesting. We'll be moving on to 4 after that. And... Da -da -da -da. 
Sundays, I'll be over at twitch.tv slash yaroshien or youtube.com slash wait, no, it's youtube.com slash d6dr, I think. Because we're playing some d6dr, I play Soraka. Yeah! Mayor Genasi Barbarian. Uh, yeah. And after that, I have no idea what I'll be doing after that, but there'll probably be some stuff. Anyway, uh, be sure to check out Dead House Sonata. Action RPG where you plays the dead, the fight, the living. I do some stuff for them. I help promote them as well. Uh, be sure to check out my DMs Guild as well, where a couple of my a couple of my subclasses have just hit copper bestseller. I can't thank y'all enough for that. Uh, yeah. Be sure to check out my latest one, the Hellfire Soul Sorcerer. Also, be sure to check out next month for the Augmentist uh, Artificer, which will be the next subclass that comes up. Uh, other than that, I'd like to thank our sponsor for this episode, the Die Hard Dice. <gasps> Die Hard Dice! There we go. That's yeah, right. The lovely sound of uh, uncloaked Die Hard Dice uh, hitting the mat. Uh, I I didn't I only got to roll a little bit today I, I was a little deprived but you know it's okay don't worry we'll have plenty you'll next get time. plenty next time oh week. yeah there's yeah. gonna be lots I, uh, I really do I really don't want you to win <laughs> I won't win <laughs> How? Yeah. wow I know I'm sorry it's fine we can say this before boss fights <laughs> yeah um. But you can find all of these amazing polymer and metal dice that might murder us. Uh, also, uh, amazing magnetic folding trays, uh, carrying cases, and dice towers over at dieharddice.com and our very own Kobold Rangers Hunters marking down some prices. Uh, and if you use the code TASK at checkout, you can get 10% off your order at dieharddice.com. You'd be a fool to not snipe this deal in the heart. I've paycheck. Remember, please. folks, never die hard with die hard dies. Hey, you guys are going to get us canceled. Damn. Well, anyway, uh, with that you out of the way, it's time to read off some bits and subs. From Sario88, they give the 14 months no sub. Just bad pun. Seriously, though, thanks to the great campaign across the board. I'll catch you in the VOD now that I work third shift and I can't watch live anymore. Skeletit Alpha, thank you for the 14 months. Yeah, Riot! Hey, I know that guy. Bass Dog 25, thank you for the two months of Prime subage. Yo. Uh, Neo Ander MCD, thank you for the eight months of Prime subage. A Red Wolf Gamer, thank you for the Prime sub. Protoss, thank you for the 40 bits. Remy's arc will be finding out his dad is still alive. Ah, spoilers, yeah. man. Jesus. Oh, I don't know, man. Greckles waited 166 episodes and didn't get that resolution. Sorry. I don't think it's happening, guys. What if it turns out? Yeah. Your dad is actually. It was Hero panic Toyo all along. That's me. Hero I'm Toyota. Fine. Man, I'd be yeah. like, bro, where have you been at? Why, when can I get when can I get my hybrid please. Griffin? The whole time. Please. Uh. Emerald Bandit, thank you for the bit. Pseudonym92, thank you for the 100 bits. Calling it now. Remy's aspect is going to be his dad. Fucking damn it! Wow. Does your, dad, does your dad have three letters in his name? Uh, no, definitely. Oh, yeah. but it could be yeah, shortened to three letters. It could definitely be shortened to three. Oh boy! <laughs> Did you just? Uh, I'm just. I'm just going with the monkey. Smoke. Thank you for the 200 bits and across the vastness of time and space, the Bosco scowls. <laughs> Mac music, thank you for the 250 bits. Wait, so if Kai has been with Greckles since he was a child, but Lies was shattered when Greckles was already in Alabast, then <laughs> my brain hurts. Well, remember, Lies himself wasn't a complete deity, was he? Yeah. 
Uh, I have we have no idea what the what the what the prior state of all it's, of our shards it's were. It's timey wimey weebly wobbly stuff. Don't worry about it. It's true. Uh, Ed seven six five super. Thank you for the three hundred bits. If the cast of Dead House Sonata went to an Outback Steakhouse and started stared at their steak a bit longer than usual. Oh, man, this is going to be a long <laughs> one, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry. I just saw something really... Uh-huh. <laughs> Monty, are you okay? I'm just... <laughs> She's dying. What did you die? What happened? Dying, Scoob. Who killed you? Uh, I just, uh, I was just reading some stuff as we you know, were going through the bits and subs, and like, I just saw someone in the chat in the Unexpectables Discord just say, I can't believe everyone is gay and powerful and out of nowhere. And it just like threw me <laughs> off. Loop. I'm sorry. Continue. <laughs> hey, man, be uh, gay. Do crimes. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, dude. Sorry. Keep going. Ed765 so Super, thank you for the 300 bits. If the cast of Dead House Sonata went to an Outback Steakhouse, and stared at their steak a bit longer than usual. They noticed they're in 1988 no. when the Undertaker threw mankind off a hell no! of a cell and plummeted 16 feet through the announcer's table. No! Wait, where's the rest of it? I'm confused. I uh, Where's the rest of it? They must have run out of characters. Only 240 characters allowed. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, I was spared. I don't get it. No, no, it's, there's a period there. It's just... Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's that's just the end of it. Okay, thanks, Ed. Hmm. You're welcome. Fanta not you. Fantastic, oh. Callum. Thank you for the 100 bits. Amazing session. And let me say, big fan of gay Uncle Ryu, say. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't love big gay Uncle Ryu? Uh, Probate, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Barely had a breather from the earth, Oni. Talk about out of the frying pan and into the fire. Am I right, guys? Yeah, uh, you're right. Oh, my God. I have fourth degree burns. It's a fourth degree burn, one that transcends time and space. Oh, my God. Let's keep it going. I need dinner. The one free man, thank you for the 50 bits. Is that why everyone was surprised Kai had a kid? Oh, I guess it makes sense now. Ah, yeah, right? Yes. Does it make sense now? Everyone's like, wait, Kai had a child? Like, wait, that makes no sense. <laughs> the Kai had a going. kid? Have you seen the way that guy opens doors? Dude, uh, dude, it, it what obviously- What does that mean? <laughs> yo, yo, we have to keep this oh, rumor this away. No, I hold don't, on. I don't fucking know. We're just gonna let that walk away? <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to visit that one. Um, what? I have no idea. I just said something. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Magic Ninja Go. Thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, by the way, I just found out that there is a Jin Sakai Figma figure that will be coming out in August. While I was looking at the Good Smile website. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I like myself some some. Uh... Oh fuck! I completely forgot the name of that game. Ghost of Shima. Right, that's the one. I like that game. <laughs> it's a good game. No, all evidence, all, of it, all of it is the, I like it so much. I completely forgot what it was called. Kane time. Thank you for the five hundred bits. This is an exhausting episode. Great job, everyone. Collect those. Thank you for the five subs gifted to the community and lore writer. Thank you for the one hundred bits. Episode title: Found Family. Oh, that's super spoily. That's yeah. right. Yeah, it's a good title, but yeah, unfortunately, spoils. You have to find that nice, like, I, medium. I round. really like Gaijin's old flame idea. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, an old flame is good. I like that. It's so layered. Exactly. Like a parfait. There's nuance. Oh, I'm hungry. Stop talking about food. <laughs> oh, cares. So don't who worry, Gaijin. I'm not hungry. Are we going to ride? Oh yeah, that is the question. Um. Your raid or not I have raid? I have some friends, but like I don't know if there's anybody you guys want to raid. I feel like we've been just raiding my friends, and I feel kind of guilty. What if we about raid Thero? Because he I mean, we got Thero, uh, Octo. What if we raid Octo? Yeah, we have Octo. We could raid Octo. And... Guilty yeah. Gear Octo Pimp. We have yes. talked about him a lot today. He's yeah. playing City of Heroes. Too. He is That's always a good time. in heaven. That fucking game. I feel old. I know. Yeah, it's been around forever, it. and it will never die. They've tr Octo believe Pimp? me, they've tried. Yeah. Is, is our is our raid message gay Uncle Bird? I like that. That's really no, spoilery though. That, Let's not yeah. do that. 
Yeah, actually, that's fair. That's fair. It, it a lot of people spoiler. are saying investigation. Uh, heaven or hell, though. let's rock. Or investigation. Oh, yeah, investigation. Investigation. Oh, investigation. Son of a bitch. We yeah, got to do investigation. It's his joke, too. So. It's his yeah. joke. We it got to do investigation. investigation. <laughs> Funny. Funny joke. <laughs> all right. It's not, a, it's not a good one, but it's his. Go, it's not go, good at all. Go. What's the word? Reverse. Raid? His joke. Mm hmm. Go. go ruin his comedy. Go, ru go, go ruin his stream. Reverse laugh. Destroy him with love. Ah, 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 